Yo! 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 Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, new expansion day. Yeah! Okay. Today we're going to be playing the new expansion from Spirit Island. I actually received my copy just a, uh, just a couple days ago. And this got updated with it as well, but I do own the physical copy of all this. New expansion has eight new heroes. And they all do a lot of stuff. They, they are really interesting, unique, and fit in the game in a space that is good and, and you know, unique. I want to take a quick moment to describe all of them real quick before we start our game. After we introduce the, the lovely people here today. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, introduce yourselves. And go ahead and plug yourself. Do things. <laughs> Which order? <laughs> I'll follow your heart. Fight, 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 fight! <laughs> I, I'll go first, I suppose. Um, I am Cobalt's Break. You can find me at twitch.tv Cobalt's Break. Um, I stream a wide variety of all kinds of shenanigans. <laughs> um, I've done game dev streams, I've done tabletop RPG streams, I've done music production streams, <laughs> video games, <laughs> <laughs> card games, what, just, it, it's whatever I'm feeling like. Uh, the most variety. Trying to be a nice and cozy space. Um, yeah. Every day except Tuesday, Wednesday. Currently though, I have to do the shout out for it again because I'm really bad at chilling for this. <laughs> I'm running a, 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 a charity for Extra Life. We are participating as part of a couple of the, both of my teams, really. So we're aiming to raise $1,000 for charity for children's hospitals in particular through a children's emergency or the Miracle Network. <laughs> I'm, I, my brain is abandoning me on this now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay. Um, yes, so what I've been doing for that is every $10 donation, I will sing a song of your choice. I will do a karaoke of any song that I can try to find. <laughs> um, of course, pending terms of service. Uh, nice. then there's also... No <laughs> um, there's also at... The $500, $750, and $1,000, I still have another milestone that I'm going to do as well. $500 was going to be an off-stream JoJo's Bizarre Adventure watch, watch Marathon with my community. Um, $750 is going to be a VR Phasmophobia stream because I am horrendously awful with horror and people love to watch me suffer. And at $1,000, I'm going to read and record the storybook Go the Heck to Sleep without censoring myself, so for the people who want to hear me cuss. <laughs> Aww. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so you'll be able to listen to it anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> and Cupcake. Hi, I'm La Bunny Cupcake. I go by Cupcake, Cat, a couple other names. Um, I stream sometimes. <laughs> um, occasionally can be found streaming. Uh, I'm trying to go <laughs> through Ghost Trick with uh, Siler slash Unholy Loikoi with, and we're just um, right now. On uh, usually, I try to just go through like games I either really like or just feel like playing. A lot of times, I end up playing stuff with other friends. Um, I have played too much of Splatoon, but um, right now I'm just going through a lot of like old classical remakes on the side. I've been a little bit AMA due to um, more 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 real life stuff, but you know uh, I, I try I try to like um, catch folks streams and and basically be around and um, stream whenever I also actually can, even even <laughs> if it is as a guest. And yeah, nice. And I am a weird uh, internet lizard. I am currently, until I finish Final Fantasy V, I am also doing a charity run. All money uh, that I receive from streaming is going to the Trevor Project, which is a transgender and LGBT uh, support, uh, support network. And 
yeah, you can support me th through that, and I will be giving an additional 20% to all donations that I receive in that time period. So I'm taking your, your money, giving it to Trevor Project, and adding on top of it. Hmm. So, let's talk Spirit Island. There are eight new spirits. Possibly 13, depending on the last time you played. <laughs> but we're going to be focusing on the newest spirits from the newest expansion, Nature Incarnate. I mentioned that because the last expansion ones um, really crept up on me. I didn't really know they existed until they came out. I was like, oh, wait, what? Whereas the new expansion I've been hyped for for a long time. <laughs> We've already selected our characters for the first game, but I want to really quickly cover all the spirits and just a quick overview of what they are before we see them in action. Uh, the first is Relentless Gaze of the Sun. It's me. I am the Relentless Gay. That's, that's me. And <laughs> it is... <laughs> Relentless Gaze of the Sun is all about taking one point and obliterating it. You can shatter your own presence to increase strength and, and put them back fairly easily. And yeah, you just focus your efforts onto one individual location and say, this place, this place right here, gone. I like that it always has a add a presence on all tracks, which is just a really nice touch, I think. Mm -hmm. To do anything, it has to have three, um, three presents in one land, but it can also move three presents together fairly easily, which sets it up nicely. Mm. The one I'm most interested in playing, frankly, is Wandering Voice Keen's Delirium. I'm not starting with it, but it's probably what I'm most interested in. It. The new mechanic of this game, of this uh, expansion, is incarnates. They are living, breathing essences of a spirit that instead of influencing the land through subtle ways, is straight up there. You can walk up and shake their hand and have them punch people. And the wandering voice has an incarnate that, can, that fly, floats around the land, pushing invaders and stacking massive amounts of uh, strife. It just seems extremely valuable. It just seems like really, really solid. Just and the most interesting though is probably wounded water is bleeding. You start out dying. You start out dying and have to destroy presence off the board every single turn until you can reach a tipping point where you can recover your spirit's health. And that healing is not easy. So it's sort of like a carry. It's, it's a, a very powerful spirit that comes in that it doesn't really do anything until mid-game. It's making it difficult to survive that far, but if you can make it there, then it is a very strong spirit. Also, it looks phenomenal. Best artwork in my opinion. Mm -hmm. The color contrast in it is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Towering Roots of the Jungle? gives you a safe haven, an incarnate where nothing dies and, and the land will not, will not blight. And that one safe haven is a g place to gather as much stuff as, as you can into to keep it safe. Tree it's an interesting... Grandma! Tree Grandma! <laughs> it's interesting because it's very, very heavily focused on an individual site, which makes it lack board control, and... I don't know how that'll play out in a four-player game, you know? Mm -hmm. And then there's Dances Up Earthquakes. The core mechanic of Dances Up Earthquakes is that you can play a card for later. And then every turn, you get one, ener uh, one energy on that card, and so it'll proc whenever it's ready, encouraging you to get an early major power that's expensive and saying, okay, in four turns I'll play this. In three turns, this 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 will go off making it very much about preparing for the future. It also has a earthquake ability, which if we want, learned one thing from uh, Slumbering Serpent, earthquake abilities uh, win games. <laughs> and this is no different. It, it's, if you set up enough earthquakes, you can devastate the entire board and just win in one giant crescendo. But today we will be playing these three spirits. I will be playing Ember-Eyed Behemoth because it feels like it's the most definitive incarnate spirit. Ember-Eyed Behemoth oh. exists and is a big stompy boy and runs around the board and smashes things. And almost all their, their abilities tie to having this what, this incarnate, and I figured this would be a good way to learn the system since everything it does is about the incarnate. You, 
wander around this, uh, the, the map, beat things up. We'll see how it plays out. Cup of Cake is playing Hearth Vigil, which is similar but different to Thunder Speaker in that it's a Dahan focused uh, spirit. But whereas Thunder Speaker is more about moving the Dahan into new lands to, and, uh, and giving them the defense, Hearth Vigil says, no, this is my land. I don't have to leave. But if you come here, I know the lay of the land. And they have a lot of first strike abilities that can cause them to deal their damage first or to, to allow the Dahan to take the upper hand in, in, in combat, as well as just passively increasing all their health to, to a mighty six, no less. <laughs> And then Sprig is playing Breath of Darkness down your spine, which is an amazing name, first of all. Breath of Darkness, <laughs> I love it. But it has its own void, a wandering void that wanders around the world and can suck into it various Tahan. Uh, various Tahan, various uh, enemies, and honestly, it looks like a very extremely powerful fear spirit. So we have a pretty good mix of me being more aggressive, uh, Cupcake being a bit more on the protective, and Sprig being spooky. Spooky. Um, there were some minor errata as well, but I don't. Th but we can just simply mention them when they come up. There isn't a whole lot that changed. Are we okay with a two to four difficulty random? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have three players right now. I need to. Pull-em gate guy may join us later. Who's the, 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 that's our other regular for these. <laughs> Let's see if the scripting works. It appears to. Nice, nice. Are we good? Yay! Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright. Two presents and my incarnate in the highest numbered wetland. Next to a jungle. Makes sense. Two and my incarna on starting board one present saint incarnate. Lowest number jungle, but in highest number jungle. By the way, if we look at the cards, all the cards in your hand, in the lower right, you have a little icon there. The, that little white icon mm -hmm. in the very lower right corner. Mm -hmm. That's for this expansion. Mm -hmm. We might want to pause and discuss if we pull a major power or uh, out that has a uh, that uh, that yeah that marker okay. just as a hey let's talk about the new power because there's some extraordinarily <laughs> cool powers in the game now. <laughs> Initial explorer is in the savannah. Okay, so then I also am supposed to put this up here, it says. So... So you we have starting a... forward. One. Yep. Mm -hmm. We do have a rules lawyer uh, for Spirit Island in in the uh, in my chat. Uh, yeah, if you mm -hmm. notice anything major, speak up, because um, we're, we're a bunch of VTubers, and we, we are not always, like, smart. <laughs> At least me and I'm not. I mean, Spr Sprig's pretty smart. Cupcake, are you smart? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm smart since when? <laughs> Do the smart ones, Frig. Deal with it. Um. What are we even dealing with? Uh, Scotland 2. Okay. And 2 in the lowest. Okay, we have to protect the coastlands. If we get uh, six city or seven uh, cities on coasts, we just straight up lose. So um, mental note Ooh. that. Okay. And everything okay. else is doing setup, so we don't have to worry about it right now. Cool, nice. Oh, yeah, another, oh, one I'm of the... gonna gain a power card. Okay. Let me grab. Let me grab grab those bills just so I have them on hand. No new ones. Um, what are my elements? Wind, moon, beast. There we go. Da, da, 
Errata to the target. Real quick on the Errata, um, the optional rule of starting with an extra blight on the card is now a rule. That's just a thing that you do. Um, a handful of the cards were straight up removed. This is already done for us, so we don't have to worry about it, but mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of them were either extremely situational or extremely uninteresting, like growth through sacrifice, the minor power where you have to sacrifice your presence to do like two damage or something. It's like, no, just get rid of it. They clarified the does not participate in Ravage. We've been playing it correctly, just so we've, we've been doing the right thing. And Incarna just kind of does things. I have the rules for Incarna out here if we need them, um, but I think we'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Alright, what am I doing here? What's the spirit do? I, I do have a, a two presence. Uh, yeah, having a double presence growth option is just good, right? Yeah. A jungle or a land with my presence. What do I need here? Let's get to two card plays ASAP. I'm going to drop this up here with Cupcake for now, just so I have something there. And with my other one, I can turn it into a Holy Sight. That'll give me something See. to work with. So I have Explorer Escapes. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. There we go. And then... So right out of the gate, savannas exist. Yep. But as long as I can, yeah, I'm fine. Two fire, one earth, any combination that does that will help me take care of this and right out of the gate. I'm going to play yeah, and then literally anything. Not literally anything. I have to do this one, am I? Wait. No. Got it. Wait. Alright. I think I'm good for this turn. Okay. I'm powered after uncovering thingy. Hmm? I don't know. Okay, so that's okay. Yes, that's later. Okay. Yeah, I it's right here. Mm -hmm. cool. I have a once per game uh, reclaim action that can empower it mine. Oh. I apparently did not have enough energy for this, so I'm not gonna play this one. I'm gonna no worries. Play this one. <laughs> Hi. Would you both like to? <laughs> would either of you like to have presents abducted into the spooky hole? Um, what does that do? You get plus one range for the round, and you can target this spooky place. Does it stay? Okay, here's my question: Does it stay in the spooky place when you have to eject things, or is it going to eject it into a it, land? It doesn't say it has to be ejected. Okay. Me. Actually, wait. One damage if one. Eh, I'll commit. So, in fast phase, um, I do. Oh. So, yes, when you uh, eject things, uh, presence does count as a piece that's in there. Alright, and I was moving this. Going here, I think. Okay. I will decline that for now. But I will. Actually, wait. No, not that. Terrifying Rampage, which doesn't actually do anything, but it makes me feel better, and that's what's important. <laughs> See you. 
the reach from infinite dark, like abduct your presence, it's like it's if you choose to, so each of you can put up to two presents in the spooky hole. Um Okay no, it's up to two sure. total. So you can put one there or you can put two there and then the other one can't. Okay. I'll put one there. Uh, Why not? Also, sure. Take... How do I? Hmm? I forgot to break this off. <laughs> oh, uh, grab it and drag it quickly instead of uh, holding it down. Yeah. Oh, there we go. All right. Just rip, one, just rip one off the top. Yeah, so you put it up here. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna shove these Dahan out of here. Oh, um, that gives me that lets me do something, actually. So thank you for that. <laughs> Yay! I'm helping. All right gonna isolate that land because they outnumber the town there and then it gains two fear. And I gain a fear and I put a strength because there's a beast and then I put a strength because it's terror level one. <laughs> um, does anyone want to reclaim one power card instead of discarding it at the end of their turn? Sure. All right. Are there Dahan you can gather? Oh, you also gain one energy. Um. Is this one? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you have at least three Dahan among their lands, gather one energy and reclaim one power card instead of discarding it. I don't. I forgot to do the oh, initial darn. explore. Oh goodness, it, it's if we have seven cities on the coast that we lose? Yep. We started with six. <laughs> we should probably worry about that. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna start stomping in this um, direction. Okay. Um. What I will do then is I will do one damage, which kills Explorer. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I may push the spoopy hole mm -hmm. over here. Oh, <coughs> no, no, um, it's seven coastal land, coastal lands with cities, not seven cities. Yeah. Six. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah there's, there's three, three coastal lands with cities. Okay, I thought it was <laughs> coastal cities here. on coastal lands. Yes, 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 yes. Important, important distinction. Thank you, chat. <laughs> I moved myself to the Dahan that moved over there because I realized that'll be important to give them health. <laughs> Having said that, we should still worry about this. Having yes. said that, that's still important. Hmm. <laughs> Also, for the record, we are guaranteed to have a coastal lands card in in the uh, the, the middle deck. Oh, I, I can't actually destroy people. Instead, they get abducted. Okay. So I kidnapped the person. I didn't kill them. Yeah, and then you can then you can kill them with your other ability. Yeah, and then that gives fear one extra fear. Doot. And then they die. <laughs> nice. To the spoopy hole with you. Alright, um. Invader phase. Well, yeah, no event on turn one. So, build in Savannah. Like you do. And explore the wetlands. That's mildly annoying. Wait. Oh. Oh. Actually, wait, they don't explore this one because it's... Wait, does your Incarna isolate? Oh, wait. No. Oh, yeah, this is isolated here, no, no, no. so I guess... The... Oh, right. Well, that's their turn. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Slow phase. All right. Um, I don't have one right now. Fair enough. I'm going to stomp this uh this town into dust. And do I move or do I stay? Should I should I stay should I stay or should I go now? Um, who wants to add a uh, wilds? Wilds are good. Sprig, add add a wilds. Okay. Wilds. Solid. Um. Yeah, I guess I'm good. So I just still thinking. Mm-hmm. Alright, we good? Yeah. The shoop. And growth phase. Well, I'm gonna yank both of these out. Give myself some energy to work with. Add a presence. Um, honestly, I'm gonna just gain a major right now. Go for it. Oh, I got a new power! Three new power! Or three with the symbol things. Alright, um... They're not the same symbol thing. No, those are... Those are, those are what the other savage things. transformation is very good for me. It is, yeah. Actually, that's fantastic for you. Untouched land is that funny, both but... both my uh, elements. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're pulling that off. Also, actually... Whoa, that's an interesting thought. Untouched land? is usually extremely powerful, it's actually not as good with uh, incarnates because it's more land that we have to roam to. I love you. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, my incarnate doesn't seem to have any issues with getting places, though I can literally move to any land in the girl's phase. Wait, what? Oh, wow. On your reclaim, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. She's I am like, I'm stone. over there now, bye! <laughs> I'm- I could do- actually, do I want to do this instead? No, I'd have to do- no, I gained a power- yeah, I do. Okay, you know what? No, I'm doing this thing. What up? Okay, um... The presence ad is pretty slow on this spirit, though. I do get one every turn, or not mm -hmm. one every turn, one except when I reclaim, but... I did not. Ooh, interesting. So I need fire, earth, maybe a little bit of grass, but... Not a new card, but this is an interesting recontextualization, because mm -hmm. Actually, on your spirit, on the darkness spirit, that can push two towns into the void. Um, yeah, because you can yeah. push anything to the void as if it were a land ignoring range. Mm -hmm. Now, can anyone push something into the void? Uh, I think it's specifically me, it says. Okay. Because it's my land targeting powers. That's Wait, fair. That's but yo, so what? I can shove it. But what if, like, hear me out. But what if you could connect to the void with um, Finder of Paths Unseen? Oh, you absolutely would be able to. Because everything it is a, to the it void. Is a place on the island. Everything. Yep, everything goes in the void. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody into the void. <laughs> no time to explain. Get in the spooky hole. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I'm just gonna get. I'm just gonna get a little bit of fear generation on top of things. Seems like a smart move. Once I get three energy. And discard a card with fire. So what if I'm not playing this turn, eh? Oh, I don't have any beast to play. Darn, I need to do a different one than I can do that one, I guess? Just to get the beast play, but I don't actually have a holy sight. <laughs> actually, you know what, no, I'm, I'm gonna add my presence here so that I can holy sight there. That's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, it's 
third in my chat had a good one. Congratulations, you've been given a free vacation. Please do not resist. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's all inclusive. Because all, everyone... <laughs> Okay, so I had to make many decisions. All of them were bad. I have no idea what I'm doing. Anyways, hello. Hello. Hi. I kidnap an explorer. And then go in the spooky hole. To fear. <laughs> okay. okay. In that case, I'm going to shimmy here. Because I can move either the, in either face. I can move once per turn in fast or slow, which I like that versatility. That's a really nice touch. And then I'm going to push an explorer. So this one is not there anymore. I think it's gonna go here. Seems nice. Um. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna choose this land here. Um, basically, and. In one of your lands, one to Han deals damage before invader during a uh, um during ravage, and in that land, another to Han deals damage before invader does during the ravage. So I'm gonna. Nice. Target this land for when that happens. I'm just going to put a marker so that I remember okay. how to defend. Yeah. Put an isolate here. Just going. Yeah. And then... Gather up to two Dahan from your land only. I realize I could have played something better now, but I didn't, so, you know, whatever. Um, I'll take care of this one. Okay, yeah, that works for me. So I can just... Yeah, just do two damage here. It was slow phase, though, so they will ravage, but... Yeah. Ooh. The the Dahan there are pretty beefy at least, so they will they'll live. Alright. That's actually something I noticed when I was looking through the rule sets. Is that there's a lot less spirits that have defend. And a lot more spirits that have ways or other ways to defend. Mm -hmm. Like by by preventing attacks or what whatnot. That's something that I noticed that I like. Um Oh gosh, I can't do the thing that I wanted to do. Well, I guess I move again. Stomp. All right. Yeah, All right. Data phase. And event is first, if I recall correctly. Yes. Because the event can affect the fear card. No bravery without numbers. Invaders do not ravage in lands unless there are more invaders than the current terror level. Well, that's one, so, um... Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, if there's two, it has to be two invaders in the same land. Mm-hmm. So, this each beast... This doesn't really affect anything, but... <laughs> not particularly. Each beast bites, though, which is a thing. Yeah. Oh. Do you want me to oh, my beast is or, or, or do damage the town if you can finish it off? I can't finish it off because my powers are, like, all fast, basically. Okay. In each land, push one Dahan per complication to land without complication. Bad lands are a disease. Uh, nothing on my land. Yep, nothing for me. Um, oh, I got the wilds here. Nope, it's just a bad lands or disease in this case. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a pretty uh, non event. Mm hmm. On each board, isolate a land. Okay. Um. Uh huh. I'm gonna isolate that because that's why I don't want anyone showing up. I think I'll do the same thing for mine too. Mm hmm. Because I'll isolate this one. Yeah, I feel like. That one might become a problem down the road. Mm hmm. Alright, um, Ravage in the Savannah. Okay, so I'm gonna take it out of that. So the, these two do damage beforehand. So this kills nice. this off, and then, um, basically does damage to that. Town would also do damage back, and then. But this would on or actually because it would be one damage to this, right? I'm bad at math. Wait, what? I'm you trying to remember. Dahan, uh, which you'll, you'll two to Han. Piece. So yeah. Oh damage, wait, never mind. Both. Yeah. They just okay. It. Yeah. Woohoo. Okay. I'm bad at math. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And then in this one here, all of the Dahan have four five health, health, so... Yeah, five health. So... Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah, they slaughter these guys too, right? Yep, Lin does blight though. Um, actually, no, because what, what happens is it just... Yeah, so, so here, um, blight does not... Um, it destroy... Pre oh, wait. Hold on. It's still added, but it doesn't destroy Okay, presents. yeah. Okay. okay, that's what it is. Okay, so it is added there. So, it's added, but you don't mind. Yes. So... And then Sprig just gets sad. Yep. Alright, uh, build in the wetlands. Okay, then... Plop! Okay. And explore... Oh! In wetlands. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. That's, um... Although it's going to ravage before it builds next turn. So that's arguably fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess that's fine. It's not great, but we can work with that. We can find a way around that, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, slow phase. Alright. Uh, I... Um... Okay, so I generate two fear because invaders are present in these wetlands. Mm -hmm. And then I can push the invaders somewhere else. Push up to one town or... Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now where should I push this? Put it here so I can just blast it this turn. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Boom. Woohoo! And Dude, then... That just straight damage. But it has to be next to my uh, holy site, which I've awkwardly placed there. <laughs> and then, I guess in this area here, um, because there are Dahan present, I can do two damage, taking out both explorers. Nice. Woohoo! And I'm done. All right. Um, that's the end turn, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm going to use my specialty reclaim action, which reclaims only cards I have with fire element. Hey, look, that's all of them. More importantly, my incarnate is empowered. Now I can double my innate power, which is what the spirit's for. This is what I do. This is this is my thing. And I had to reclaim, so every ball is I only have one person in the spooky hole, so they were gonna ex escape anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna just put them over here where I took them from. <laughs> and then I gain a minor power. Can I... Do something fancy. Okay, I'm going to the fancy. I might take the blight cleanup, honestly. From yeah. From gracious growth. That seems like a good idea. Plus, honestly, a two damage ping is not bad, right? <laughs> it is holy side only, which is kind of icky, but I have I have a move, so I can move stuff into holy site. Mm hmm It's also not my elements at all, but... <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to do this because it seems good and once in a while it's good i'm gonna just shatter both these cities this turn mm -hmm. so look forward to that yeah i'm just gonna absolutely stomp these cities into dust that's fun that's cool i feel cool <laughs> nothing will be left behind I am going to scoot to here to see if I can help prevent this from cascading. Good idea. And then... I'll 
I'll come up north and he'll deal with this next. Or, uh, yeah, but the city's next. I'll make my way up there. But I think, because I think that uh, Cuppy Cake's going to be okay with the first strike if they can just move a whole bunch of uh, Dahan in there, you know? Mm hmm So, I'll start moving to support Sprig, because Sprig's going to need it more. And we got a pretty good handle on the game. Now, for the record, the card order is going to be interesting. Oh, we need to make a note that uh, in coastal lands they explore as towns. Oh. For maximum two lands per board. We'll start doing that now. We just missed that. I don't think you put anything explored onto my coast anyway. I did. Mm -hmm. I explored onto your coast. <laughs> yeah, this would be... Wait, whatever. Yeah, this is a, t a town, technically. That's not a coast. That's not a coast. No, Neat. it is, though. That's a coast. Well, that's a much worse place for that to happen. Oh. Okay. Okay, so are we... Oh, wait, we're in fast power. Now? Yeah, we... Okay, so... Yeah, I also was like, wait. <laughs> I do a spooky. I can, like, kidnap a person. <laughs> well, that's gonna bite now. Okay, um... That's all I can do. <laughs> I can prevent a blight, but it'll stop me from going stompy. And I kind of feel like going stompy is more important right now. I can break two cities, or I can stop a blight. What do you think? I think the two cities is bigger because cities is a, a loss condition for this game. Yeah, although... Yeah. Yeah, it's true, though. Um... Idea. Actually, no. You know, hold on. You know, what? I'm gonna. How far I away? Have realized a thing. Mm -hmm. If, if Wait. I move this. Wait. Oh god. Oh no, no. I was reading something. Sorry. <laughs> All right. If I move here, I can fire vision this town into here, and then I can put a wilds here. This means next turn I'll be able to go stomp. But it also, importantly, that prevents a town from exploring into this location, you know? Hmm. As much as I don't like that idea, I think that's the right play. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I yeah. also have a smarter play to do. I'm not doing the cool play, I'm doing the smart play, and I don't like it. I want to do the cool play. Got it. So <laughs> For target land, Dahan. Exactly. Because I'm looking at this card here. I'm just trying to figure out. Because I realize there's no Dahan in any actual places so that that would matter, at least in my land. Or is it just mm. any Dahan? I forgot how that worked. Mm -hmm. If that was just like any Dahan, or if that was just like within my land. I guess I just moved back over here then. Oh, no, wait, I moved. I do that in the slow phase after I try to flag this. No mind. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, would would you know? I for, I forgot about this. Uh, if it's hmm. for the target the target land, if it's for Dahan, if that matters on wet <laughs> land, it has to be within my own, or if it's um. It's range zero, so your presence yeah, has zero. to be. Yeah. Okay. Darn. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then. Yeah. So. Okay. So I can't do much this turn. That's fine. All good. Hmm. Yeah. Invader phase. On each board, after the first successful build action, um, add an explorer to an adjacent land. Oh, they are built without invaders. Mm hmm Okay. So mental note that. 
Uh, on each board, Ooh. push two explorers or a town away from a beast. And then two fear per land with Dahan and um, city. Hmm. I don't that's... see any Dahan in. No, Wait, is it this? Thing. No, that's a town. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> There's uh, nothing yet for that, so. I was also hoping maybe I can push things into the spooky hole. I can't. <laughs> mm hmm. Uh, what? I could move this town, but like at this point, do I even want to? I think it's a fine place for a town, honestly. Hmm. I think we just sort of accept that. Yeah, those okay. are the only beasts on the board right now, so that's just like the whole event. <laughs> yeah, not, just not a lot of Build doing. actions are worse, nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um. Ravage on the wetlands. So, some of those are painful. Nothing in my area right now. Ooh, that's a cascade. Oh, jeez. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Um... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say you could drop the blight into uh, the jungle because then you could uh, clear it up with the growth, but then they would be breaking your presence and that's bad. So... Like, oh, you yeah, can do I a thing! Wait, that's worse. I also don't have a holy site there, so I can't actually clean it up. Mm -hmm. I was gonna clean this one in this little phase. Fair enough. All right, uh, build in the wetlands. <sighs> and then explore in the oh oh no. Explore the mountains! That's a coast. Uh oh. If it's a coast, they explore as towns. Um. My board is getting very messy. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. On, the, uh, on each board with a single most coastal towns or cities, um, add a town to the end lands with the fewest towns. Oh, so three. So who has the most coastal towns and cities? It's me. Hello, okay. yes. So yes. I have three towns. Ed, okay. Okay. I don't like that, but I don't wanna. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay. Slow phase. That's when I do this and then shimmy. Anybody can I add a. <laughs> Anybody who wants can add a uh, a wilds to one of their lands. Okay. If, if it's um, not a good place, right? Not particularly. Trying to think if I would have a good place for it right now. Up Actually. Is good. Yeah. Oh yeah. There is good. Either of your coasts so that they don't explore it with towns, because yeah. they're jerks. <laughs> okay, and then from one, um, since I do one damage, um, to one away, I'm just gonna get rid of this explorer. Yeet them. And I can't actually use my thing, which is a shame because I just en enraged and I just can't use it right now. Oops. It's still in. Alright, end turn. Mm hmm. I just like to double check. Okay, I'm gonna gain a power. If I play all three of these, do I get to do cool stuff? I do. I'm gonna go up to three plays. Think I'll slowly move over here, just so that I can have some 
movement with the hunt. <laughs> then. Oh, okay. The Scoopy Hole is full of snakes! <laughs> <laughs> um, targets pick it's either two energy or two of single element. Add one beast. Gather one blight. Pay one energy to remove one blight. That seems pretty worth not Oh, it even is sun, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Might take I need that one, because yeah, otherwise I don't really have anything for blight removal. Plus, you also have a lot of mobility, since you can just travel with the Dahan. Right? Yeah, as long as something can push the Dahan, because I can only gather them. Well, no, that, that still counts. Yeah. You just gather them uh, to away from you. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, your second, uh, your second power would do that. That can let you travel the board and soak up uh, all the lights. Which we could use right now. Yeah, okay, here we go. Take that, and then... Um... Two cards am I playing? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna go stomp. I've got a good turn. I've got a very good turn. Hmm. Um, I'll have this covered for you, like, defend it if you want. Um, I'm actually gonna make them not participate in Ravage. Just because I'm gonna Guardian Serpents anyway, and I, it's the only one that's gonna get a free defend. Oh, well, in that case, sure. Then who else can I... I can... Actually... I can protect okay. here, actually, then, in that case. That would be very good, because that's, that's a big spooky. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I can handle that. They, these two will just simply not participate in the rampage. Are we fast phase now? No, not quite. Alright, so these two are just not gonna rampage. They just don't. Um, they just don't. They just decide not to. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. That's good. And mm -hmm. I guardian serpents. And. Here's a beast. And also defend four. <laughs> Yeah, I'm up. And then... Um... I can push two explorers or a town away from a land. Um, um anyone... Oh. Can anyone gather at least three spirits in their land? Spirits? Yeah, I'm oh, sorry, spirit. Uh, sorry, um, Dahan. Um... I can push some to Han. Not really. I can push this to Han. <laughs> oh, I mean, do you have like three, three, three to Han that you can pull, pull, pull towards you? Because then I could, I can uh, let you reclaim one power card instead of discarding it, and also get that uh, you gain one um, energy. Sure, I can pull them into here, and they can take care of this town. Yeah, and that works. One, two, three. Oh look, I'm here now. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and that also means I'm going to let them attack first here, so I'm gonna put that there as a marker. So that's already being defended, so we don't- that- I mean, okay, it's not okay. so you do it though, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm gonna it's more or less- This town? Yeah. This, ta this town's just gonna go over here. I don't, I don't want it here. Actually, I'm gonna put it down here, because then I can stomp it on the way up to- Yeah, yeah, I'll put it here and just create a path of rampaging. That sounds awesome. And that's also a fear. And my last one is slow phase. Okay, okay, okay. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm doing cool stuff. Okay, I'm gonna generate F fear. Okay, I am ready. Alright. Right. Explore. Or not the, you know. On each board, remove a strife. If you can't, invaders do an extra damage when ravaging. Thankfully, they already can't ravage up in my area. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. And destroy on each board. Destroy one invader or town in a land with beast. <gasps> wait a minute. Right here. So this, so this town is about to have uh, be. Wait, oh, here actually. This t uh, yeah. this town gets destroyed. That's a destroy mm -hmm. effect. Gives us a fear. Now we have a, a, a fear card for this turn. Yay! Nice! That's actually also, really, this, really good. This beast just goes numb. Mm hmm. And then, um. The last one. Push three to Han from land with, um. Disease. With disease to without. But we don't have any nope. lands with disease, so it doesn't matter. Alright. Alright. Fear and then card the fear card. Three. Uh, every land defends one per Dahan. Doesn't change anything, but... Okay. Oh, it does! It does here, because they do one extra damage! Oh! Oh, you're right! Oh my gosh, that's actually clutch! That was about to triple blood. Oh my goodness! Yeah! <laughs> Yo, the plays, though. We got this. Alright, um, Ravage in the Wetlands. This place goes Nova. Woohoo! That place blights, but... And here, here is something silly. So I did two damage to the city this round, so the Dahan uh -huh. blow up a city. Yo, go Dahan. And the explorer. That's oh, wait. two fear? Uh, yeah. Negative, negative, negative. I had them set to, uh, they are not participating in Ravage, which means they can't take the, the counter does. damage. Huh? But the explorer did, though. What? The explorer participated right. in the Ravage. Right, right, right. But because so the hunt counter attack can do damage to invaders, right? They do invaders to the but only to the ones that are very participating in the ravage. That's what that's the rules of Rata that that changed. That oh. I, I said I would bring it up when it was relevant. I it's relevant. <laughs> so uh. they they do not exist in, for terms of the ravage for giving or receiving damage. They are simply non uh, a non factor right now. Um. So in, instead, then just because that's a relevant yeah, thing. Yeah, absolutely. That I, I would have known I'll blow up that town instead. Mm hmm. Right, and I have to put two back because of the city. Put one back, but yeah. Yeah, well, I, I added one and then removed two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, yes, that is that is the now. Apparently, that's always what it meant to be. The does not participate lands uh, originally meant for that to, to be the case, apparently. And now they've clarified that, no, no, that's actually what it means. They do not participate. They are not a part. They do not exist in terms of that Ravage. Which is fair. Mm -hmm. Um, Build in the mountains. That's a disease track okay, right there. Cuppy Cake has just got things on lock. <laughs> just nuking them as they come um, up. Is um, there a way that anyone is planning to do one damage here in this little phase? <laughs> Uh, I, I cannot. I will. Wait, can, can you can you spit out my presence to hear? Can you what? Can you spit out my presence to hear? Is that anything? Um, I'm trying to figure out how I do that. Yeah, it's part of your growth. You you have to knock things out of the void from your growth. Oh, so that includes. Okay, so that includes when I'm doing. Okay, I yeah. didn't know that was how it worked. I thought it was only the invaders that get kicked out. Nope, nope. Any pieces at all. Also, it says in here that you, neither of you, can target the void anyway. Right, but let, let's just uh, move so our like, presence to you, uh, mm -hmm. around the board, though, which is nice. Yes. Um, but that's really helpful because I didn't know that because now I can I can use. The reach from infinite dark to kick you, the two of you, into the into the spooky hole. Yeah. And then gain presence and escape two pieces, which only lets your presence out. Okay, works for me. Mm -hmm. All right, explorer is in the jangle, which is oh. about to be a problem. Um, I have to do the builds. Oh wait, not mountains. there. And then explore jungles. Reminder that uh, you they, they explore the coast as towns. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, but I have a wilds there. True, yeah, true. The wilds comes in clutch. 
All right, we. Um. Yeah. We good? Mhm. Mm Slow phase. Slow phase. So I check this out. The city. Nice. <laughs> So, um, I do two damage, uh, plus one damage, uh, plus one damage f uh, at the location of the behemoth, which, um, kills a city and damages a town mm -hmm. and gives a fear. Nice. And then, um, because my, uh, it's empowered, I just get to do it again. That, that, that's I have free. an important question. What? If you downgrade a damaged city, what happens to the damage? Does it just reset, or does it, it linger? It lingers, but cannot be lethal. So if you downgrade a, a two-damaged okay. city to a, a, ta a town, it becomes a one-damaged town. Okay. Oh, and then I explode this town, too, because uh, screw them. Which gives me a free Badlands here. So it, is, it is not Magic the Gathering downgrades. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Yo, but I just ate this entire land here. Like that was a problem, right? That that was mm -hmm. that was like a whole problem. Uh, is there anything else that I'm doing? Wait, was my slow power? Oh, I just did that. And I moved in here at the beginning of the turn, I think. Probably. Oh. I did. Cool. We good? Wisha. Okay. I think I'm just gonna rush for apotheosis. I think I just like I haven't gained any powers virtually at all. But I'm gonna gain one now. Do I gain mm -hmm. a major now? I don't really have any cards I want to get rid of. I guess. Um. You know what? We have someone else here. Sprig, you can you can be spooky, right? I am working on the spooky. I'm gonna get rid of my spooky card and gain a major, just so I can be as spooky as possible. As oh. Not spooky as possible. I don't know. Okay, I have flight. Um, um. Some powers. <laughs> I was initially gonna go for tormenting raw files, but elemental boon. Yo, elemental boon though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, uh, you gonna go for that? Right, I forgot the key to power. Oh, there's the... that the... yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Haunted by primal memories. That seems pretty but good for you. another... it's another holy sight power, though. <laughs> Keep in mind that your incarnate counts as a beast. It does? Yep, check out your incarnate to icon. It, is a, it counts as a presence and a beast. I did not realize that. Yeah, and then also, um, so you only need one presence at, at your incarnate to be, have a holy site for what it's worth. I had no idea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that changes a lot <laughs> in the maps. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but I did the king of power, so the two of you can move your presence back out of the spooky hole. Wait, does, oh, it have to dump, okay. does it have to dump exactly it has to where dump it is? to dump to somewhere where my lands are, I think it is. Okay, doink. I have a holy site there. Um, if I try to find... Um, put here. And then, uh, new ability, shout out. Move them to a non-ocean land with my presence or my incarnate. Mm-hmm. Alright, so, check out this. Plague ships oh. sail to distant ports. One oh. fear add four disease among coastal lands on any boards other than the target land. So if I target that in Sprig's land, where next to my holy site, I can add mm -hmm. disease all along, uh, all along Cupcake's coast, all along my coast, anywhere I want. If I have the kicker, which I do not, because I have no water. Oh, actually, I, no wait, I have um, a surge. I have some, huh? I was like, otherwise, I do have elemental boon. This is also true. 
Spirits may jointly spend three energy per player, aided by removing, um, aided by removing disease. So you can drop a uh, disease instead to remove the top card of the fear deck from the game. Hey, that's one more disease. <laughs> And, and a disease, for just just for good measure, J just to be sure, mm -hmm. you know, just just to be certain about it. <laughs> That's a very strong power. That seems pretty okay. strong. <laughs> like this is a like this is a win condition, right? Mhm. Mm and like the non kicker is amazing, and then with the kicker, it's even better. And it's not that expensive, all things considered. Like that's four. I f four is doable. I I can mm -hmm. handle four. It's. It's a bit pricey, but like some spirits can do that like every turn. Yeah. Though for the record, the spirits that can do that every turn are almost all earth spirits, and this doesn't have yes. earth or grass, which are the two spirits that could do that every turn, which I find interesting. They mm. balanced it off of the elements. Mm -hmm. Usually the fire spirits are not the ones who are gaining a lot of energy. Unless you're doing the, you know, uh the funny thing with lightning or strike. The is vengeance burning plague would do it. Yeah, that is true. Which is fitting because they, they are the plague this spirit. This burning plague. <laughs> like this, the design in this game is so tight. I and actually, there's is... there's the there he is on the boat. Yo, yo, there he is. Shoutouts to <laughs> shoutouts to vengeance like a burning plague. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's so good. So I'm taking this, and you got Elemental Boon, so um, I think this was just going to happen? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> also, just, just for the record, I'm taking I am taking a major power that isn't Blood Rack Plague when Blood, Gra uh, when Blood Rack Plague is available. Yep. I, this has never happened before. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it has in any of the games we've like, played. Like, it's just, it's, this is, has, is generally one of the best major powers in the entire game. It's like, um, I think we have a contender. Genuinely. Mm -hmm. I can't play it this turn. So stockpile a little mm -hmm. bit of energy and, uh, so that I can play it next turn. Yes, yes? Mm-hmm. I mean, because you, you guys have to pay the kicker, right? Yeah, I am. My yeah. energy gain is not good. <laughs> Fair. Um, actually, Cuppy Cake. Yeah. Could you play Elemental Boon next turn to get to help me? Yes, out with that? I'm gonna have to reclaim my cards anyway. Okay. Cool. 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 Um. Then what the heck am I doing? I need to walk around and stomp. Sorry, I was so focused on the new card hype that I haven't actually done any of my growth. So I'm going to stomp north into here and mm -hmm. try to shatter a bunch of this and I'm going to do absolutely obliterate their faces. It's going to be great. And who needs three elements? <laughs> Just preemptively, if that's a thing that's going to be that that people want to plan around. Mhm. Mm well, my mountains are clean. Wow. Um, whose mountains are clean? Do you want me to h handle this one, Sprig? Or do you got that? Um, the mountain here? I, I don't. I, I'm gonna help, but I, I, I don't really have a lot of immediate, like, remove everything. I can block that wholesale. I can soften it, but I can't completely block it. Okay, I'll block it wholesale. I'll just make these two- I'll just make the two buildings not engage in the in the ravage. I can't do anything about the north one, but I can handle this. I can just say this one's completely managed. Okay. Um, well, I will do something that is a little bit different then from how I've been playing so far. Because I think I've figured out how I'm supposed to play my innate power. <laughs> oh? Oh. Uh, we're on our fast phase? Uh, yes. I mm -hmm. believe. Oh wait, no, I'm okay. still- Oh wait, no, 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 no. Oh. I- yeah. Actually, am I playing- am I even- I'm gonna play a third, am I? I think I don't play a third. I don't need it right this turn. I think I just save the energy. I think I'm good? Okay. okay. So I use my innate, 
I deal one Wait, damage, no, no. which kidnaps this explorer. And then move one and deal one damage and kidnap this explorer. Um, who needs energies? I mean, not energy, sorry. Who needs elements? Um... You could element me for funny, but I don't actually need it. Um, if I got... Hmm... Actually, if I got one more wind... One more moon, I'd be able to move and steal another <laughs> expo invader. Yeah, go for, uh, yeah, um, choose any three. Yeah, so I need one moon and two wind. Go for or, it. No, one moon, one wind. Okay. And then with one moon, one wind, I can't quite hit any of the others. Um, oh yeah, and so then you the get a third, third one. one. can just be whatever you want. Okay, um... I'll probably... Earth? We'll probably... Like, you could stone to get the first one there. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll get stone. Okay. So, I'll grab these out as well. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Hmm. Um, so that gives me the one more to then scoot and kit and do one more damage kidnap. Okay. Um, now we're fast. They're invaders. Fast. Yes. Cool. They're invaders so of this land. Reorder how I do that then and do it here so that I can steal another one. Can generate a fear card since there are invaders there. I'm also going to push one of these cities. Um, we'll push it over here for now. And that's slow phase, so I can't do that here. Oh wait, not the city. I have to push the town. Whoop. Miss. Would anyone like to visit the spooky hole? <laughs> mm, I kind of like my my layout right now, honestly. And one of your lands. Bonk bonk. This this spirit just feels good. Am I as effective on the board as I would be if I was playing like downpour or like I short just, bang? I just well, realized I, don't know. I can kidnap Actually, my own wait. presence with that. Oh, move that over nice. there. Um, because... Would either of you? Like to move one presence in though, just so that we can block letting anything out of the spooky hole. <laughs> sure, you can be from anywhere on the board. Yep. Yeah, you can have that one, I guess. Thank you. And okay. then what I'll do is I'll growth phase, move this presence back down here, so when I let you out next turn, you can be right back where you were. <laughs> Sweet. Then. And also, Jade, because you moved in, you had plus one range on your powers. Oh, Actually, nice. that gives me plus one range, too. Oops. Because I moved in. Oh, yeah, that does. That's relevant, isn't it? And it's each presence gives plus one range. So, like, if, I, if you abduct two in, you get plus two range. That could be extremely useful. That could be- wait a minute! Mm -hmm. That means that Hearth Vigil, Vigil can use some of their zero range cards at multiple ranges. Oh! Yeah, you have multiple zero range cards. Yes. That- that could- makes it into, into range one or two if you want to uh, throw your presence in there. Yeah! That's right. Yeah, both, here. And they can spit them both out as a holy site at the same location. Oh yeah, here. Actually, yeah, if we could probably just- whoop. Uh, I don't actually. only pull two in, so I can't do it this way. Oh, okay. okay. No, I, yeah, I don't actually need mine in so... there. I, I don't actually okay. need mine in there. So I'll move mine back to here, so that I can okay. let you back out onto your holy site. Yeah, okay. Um, two invaders. And that's my fast face. I was afraid that I would feel too constrained by the by the incarnate being a slow thing, by being you know, relatively slow speeded. But I really don't. I feel like it just. I feel like I can still affect the board. I'm just an absolute monstrosity at the at the incarnate location, which is good. And it because it counts as a holy site, that gives me a lot of tools. Ooh. 
Right, um, event? Yeah. What is it? With two or more towns, um, one of the towns goes away. No! Oh, I needed that here. Oh. Dang it. But, oh, no, it's push one, so push has to be adjacent, right? Um, oh. one fear per <laughs> board with disease. Because yeah, so what came to mind was push one to a land with, uh, without town. I'm like, well, that, that, that the spooky hole maybe could count as a land without town. Not right now, but like... <laughs> yeah, actually, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, you can take that in there. Oh, wait, it's not right now, though, yeah. No, I can't. It's I have to do it with my powers. Um, my powers specifically, I can target inside the spooky hole, ignoring range. During Ravage, Dahan only do one damage, but they first strike. Oh, that's actually relevant up here. They'll pop that town. Mm -hmm. Won't save them, but it'll pop the town. Okay, that's not bad. Fear card! Each player may push an explorer into a land with more buildings than it came from. Um, I don't have build, uh, exp Um, I'll take this. If someone else yeah. wants to flag this, then, uh, then I can just kill it, because sure. I'm about to go ballistic Good. on this land here. Yeah, fair on. Ravage in the mountains. Mm -hmm. Skip, and then bed, but town dies. One fear, mm -hmm. and then oh, wait. Dawn dies in the blight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Copy cake, you're on blight duty. <laughs> yep, I'll take care of that next. <laughs> you want to hit apotheosis as soon as possible, right? Yeah. When you hit apotheosis, it'll be genuinely crazy. Like, not crazy damage wise, but crazy support wise. Mm hmm. I am super excited for when I hit, like, when I put out one more presence next turn. Because yeah. then I can start just kidnapping towns every growth phase. <laughs> nice. She's like, hi, you're going in the spooky hole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to play cards anymore. You go in the spooky hole. <laughs> Who needs cards? We just exist. Just existing's enough. Mm -hmm. uh, build it, build in the jungle. Hooray! They get a city here. I, that's a fantastic idea, and it's actually a problem here. <laughs> this is a problem here. Then... And then explore in the coasts. Oh that's boy, bad. that is yeah. bad. That was scripted. We knew, we knew that was coming. Oh wait, that's all town. Yeah. Uh, two two per board max. So oh, not, not all there. Two per board will do that. Yeah, good call. Yeah. Oops. Let me put this back there. All right. Slow phase. Um, this place just gets leveled. I do four damage twice and two fear, and then one two fear, and then so five fear. Yeah. I add a beast to the spooky hole. And then I get one, two, three, four fear. Yay. Yeah, I... Alright, now I do... I downgrade a town. A spirit may add a, um... A wilds, whoever wants it. Oh wait, there's wilds right here, so that would have... I'm just gonna... Oh, true, true. I forgot about that, that's, and that eats the wild, that's... right? Yep, yep, that's very important. Good call. Um, and what I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do take... is I'm gonna replace this explorer with a beast. Good call. And I'm gonna put wilds here so make sure it doesn't happen again. And then I also took spooky. Nay. I'm going Fair to... level two. Nice. I'm gonna melt this town, I think, unless someone has a better place for me to melt something. I think that works. Mm, oh wait, no, works. I can just melt this town. Never mind, that's much smarter. Yeah, problem solved. I think I'm good. 
Yeah, I'm good. Also done. All right. In turn. Ba -ba. Okay, and then go for probably. Wait. Wait, I get one up? more because I'm gonna put this. <laughs> Actually, wait, because that's the one that you were gonna spit out at some point. So instead. Oh, right there. And then... So we clean cards. Elemental Boon. I think I'm gonna get rid of that Wilds card just so I can get another Major. Although, you know what? No, I don't have enough energy to support another Major right now. Also, remember to stockpile okay. energy for the, for the trade ships? Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, so, Cupcake, you are free to release your presents from the spooky hole? Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to move this to this jungle. Uh huh. So, in the fast phase, I just eat, I just absorb that town. It goes to the spooky hole. Um, and I'm gonna let out my beast down here as my other one. So we're about halfway through the game, give or take. Real quick check in. I'll leave the beast. I'm gonna leave the beast and put the, the presents up here. Yes. Wait a second. I want to check in with with you. How do you feel about your spirits, real quick? We're halfway through the game, give or take. It took me a little while to like figure out what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm really liking it now that I'm figuring it out. I figured it out last turn. Like, it clicked last <laughs> turn. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, it's been a lot of fun. I, It's been an interesting mechanic of just, like, working around the dot. <laughs> just mm -hmm. taking a little ride around. I am become Death Destroyer of Worlds. I <laughs> feel... Wildly powerful right now. Genuinely. It just feels really good. Alright. Okay. Um I am only gonna have two energy to pay the kicker. That's fine. I'm gonna give you two energy. Uh three energy. Okay. And then you'll have to pay for one of mine as well, because just maths. Oh wait, hold on, this is a fast phase, so we're doing this right now. New yeah. ball. <laughs> Okay, um, Sprig How much energy need? three energy. Uh, I could use some elements, because... Okay, what elements? Three. I need a beast, I need a water, and I need an earth. Okay. <laughs> now I can do stuff. Alright, so. One fear, just... Just, just a flex. Mm -hmm. um, three damage in a coastal uh, la land with a city on it, which, I mean, take my pick, right? As to blast the city, mm -hmm. I suppose. Actually, no, I'm gonna blast this city up here because I'm about to. I'm gonna stomp my incarnate in this direction, so I'm gonna take out this city for you here. Cool. All right. Yeah, that works for me. And then. We all spend a total of three energy. I can spend two. That's what I got. And I then... spend four total, so that covers mm -hmm. yours. Yep. And Cuppy Cake, you can blast the disease inst uh, for three energy worth. Uh, sure. Remove the top card of the fear deck from the game. That's gone. That's just it's that's. Uh, if you paid, if you paid the energy, you don't have to pay the disease as well. Oh, okay. I mean, you keep going with stuff. I just, I'm up for a sec, is what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no worries. 
I think I'm live. I hope I'm live. That was weird. Yeah, OBS just decided to dumpster itself. No reason. Didn't even like, give me any any warning. It just sort of stopped. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, we back. I'm good. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, where are we now? Are we still in the end of fast phase. I have finished my fast phase stuff, but that was it. Yeah, um... Okay, no, yeah, I think I finished my fast phase stuff, too. Double checking stream health. Yeah, no, I'm good now. That was weird! I mean, it dumpstered my, my viewers. No, I, no, none of them are counting as live anymore, so... Hee <laughs> hee, whoops. Alright, um... No. Okay, so where are we now? Are we... Okay, we're uh, ready for the event? No? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, Big? Yes. Oh, yes, sorry. <laughs> cool, awesome, just checking. Just want to make sure I'm on the same page. On each board, um, add a town to a land with a town or, a, or an explorer. Oh, no. Um... um. Sp Sprig, just put uh, put yours here. Okay. Pop, pop. I'm just gonna stack this place because... I mean, it's gonna happen anyways, right? Bye-bye, mm. presents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... I'm sorry, but, uh... That's On okay. each <laughs> board, add one disease to sand or mountains with the most cities or towns. Okay, Minimum okay. one. Oh, I guess I put it there. Um. <laughs> and then, plus one uh, energy for if you have Tahan in your lands. I do. Oop, yep, yep, yep. Eh. Mm -hmm. Spookums is tier two. Each player replaces a town with a Tahan. In a land with two or more Dahan. Uh. We could do all three There's of them here. There. That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, that, that, I think that would be funny. Just like, hey, look, it's all Dahan! Actually, yes. I, need, I need to do one here to prevent a. Uh, oh, for sure. To prevent a city. As funny as that would be. Oh, yeah, because of the. You know that that's the smart. That's mm -hmm. actually important. I, I will use one of mine, though, to commit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't move the town. The eternal then dilemma between the being smart and committing to a bit. Please, with one. It's a minor bit. Place one with uh, one Dahan and land with two or more Dahan. I guess... If I do it here, and just place one of these with Dahan. Yeah. Just keep stacking down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Otherwise, I could also do it here and then just then we only have to deal with the city. Probably here because the if you count if you use your first strike ability on both these lands, you just clear them, right? Yeah. Yeah, cuz this is already am... cleared on first strike. Yeah. Which is going to be next turn. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Yeah, basically what I had to start thinking about is I had to start thinking of this kind of more like I'm playing Bringer of Dreams and Nightmares. Hmm. Is it, it's a very similar headspace for how I've got to play. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Um, I guess we're on Has Ravage now? Uh, yep, Ravage sorry. in the Jangle. That just happens, I'm sorry. Okay, so... One of these does t attacks first. Whoop. So that's and then after that, when it does damage to the land, and then they uh, fight back, and so that kills the city. Whoop. Mm -hmm. yep, it does still blight though, though. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oof. It's all right. Oh, I can are... remove the blight immediately. <laughs> okay, you. Barely hanging on, but we do be hanging on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the downside of plague ships is that it's a lot of resources for something that doesn't affect the board state, right? Yeah. All right. Build on the coast. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah, if you stack for hero power next turn, uh, if you stack for first strike next turn, <laughs> yeah, then yeah, you can wipe that, right? Oh, oh no, you not didn't wait. deal with the the replace oh, the town with the hun. Oh, I did here. No, oh, uh, oh, cupcake, okay. cupcake, 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 cupcake. Yeah, yeah. No build for you. No build. Oh right, 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 right. Please. No build. Right, disease here. Oops. Yeah, you've got that. Yep. You're safe. Okay. No, we Explore in right. the jungle. Jingles. They really like the jungle right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, that has to be a town. Whoop. Ah, I grabbed a card instead by accident. And that is a escalation mine, which is the uh we're back on escalation weather. On the single board with the most coastal buildings, add a building to, uh, to three lands. Does it appear with me somewhere? Yeah. Yeah. So that puts the entire what? central part. Where's that coming from? What? Escalation. Okay. Okay. Most coastal towns or cities add one town to the end lands with the fewest. So, town to the three fewest town locations. So, bam, bam, bam. Um, yeah, one, two, does it have to be the same board? On a yeah, single on board. the single board. Yeah. Wait. Um, hmm. I, okay, okay. I have an idea. Mm hmm. So I get to do three damage, and I get to do three damage on my turn. I'm I'm gonna deal with this. I'm just gonna purge that and this. So I'm gonna do my three damage to this explorer. What I was gonna do was gonna I was gonna walk in here and do six. That was my initial plan. Was just kind of you know walk in there and go stomp. Just remove one of my that, and but, but, then but, but, we're you... going to eat that blight. Nice. Hear me out, though. I stomp this explorer for three, just because then it doesn't build next turn. Mm -hmm. Then I walk here and stomp this explorer in town for three, and now these and... two jungles are safe next turn. And I was gonna kidnap this town, too. I'll Great. kidnap the blight there. So stomp. Move, I don't do that this turn, because it's still phase right now, but. That sets us up with a fear card, too. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna have to reclaim next turn. Hmm. So Jade, do you think are you going to have a bunch of overflow damage wherever you end up next turn? Do you think? Next turn, probably not, because I was gonna try and deal with this mess. Okay. Because I'm I'm down to one card, I kind of have to reclaim. <laughs> Same though. Okay. Um, so, in slow phase, I do my Terror of the Hunted, um, and I target the Spooky Hole, and that gives us one Fear and one Strafe. And then also add one Strafe per Terror level. So two more. If I put it in the town, maybe? And then also one more Strafe for... Being in the spooky hole. And then I also gain fear per invader and downgrade one thing, so I gain one, two, three, four fear, and then <laughs> downgrade the I said downgrade the town into an explorer. <laughs> nice. So I release two explorers <laughs> next turn. <laughs> <laughs> 
And some temporary, like, temporary non-explorers. Alright, we good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your thing was already flipped over. Oh, right. <laughs> Gosh, part of me wants to push for that, um... Plague ships again, but I don't think that realistically I can. I, do, I think that's just a non-option. You know? <laughs> and then all stuff escapes. Alright, we do have like a whole thing going on here that's about to cascade, and that will blight the island. I can't stop yep. that. Unless I draw a card that can stop it, I can't stop that. Do I get rid of Gift of Living Energy and draw and draw for a major? Hmm. Or I could sack. I think I sack my push. No, I'm sacking the intimidation. That's one of my. Yeah. I have to figure out. Where to dump all these explorers? <laughs> uh. What am I getting here? Hmm. Oh, that's funny. Um, Sprig. Yes. What was that about explorers? I need to figure out where to put them. Oh. I don't know that I could easily f do the kicker, but we do have elemental boon in on the field. Do I want to do spooky or do action? This might also stop because. I think I need to do that next so that we don't blight the I island can next turn. Put it here. Yeah, yeah. well they all they all have strife, so like they they're not gonna do anything for a while. So I have to do this here, otherwise the island blights. Wait, hold on. Oh Wait, think hold on, hold on. Okay. I've got a play um, that I have to I do. might Otherwise, um I could move myself in there and isolate it. That would stop the cascade, but I'm going to do my thing because I think it I don't know. I I can, I have a plan. Mhm. Mm do you want to isolate it to stop the cascade? Uh yeah, I can do that. Because if I can move myself in there, then I can target it, and, um... That's but... not gonna happen this turn, though, right? That's only next turn. True, but it's... Now's the time to panic about it, though. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah. I'm just guess we're gonna cascade this right now. Yeah, um... Oh, oh yeah, I, I also can be moved into there and, um... Into here, actually, then, instead, since this will, um, cascade now. So, um, I can move the Dehan into there and gather myself into there and then that'll and then I can target that land and basically isolate it. Well, I'll guardian serpents it so that it'll help defend. Mm hmm um, Are you gonna need any more help defending that or Oh, sorry, what was I've that? also got the mountain up here to deal with, so I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how to spend my resources to do the most that I can. Oh, yeah. I can... All my stuff is slow. I can't do anything that... I can I can uh, muck that place up pretty bad this uh, on my turn, but I can't stop it. Um... No. I wish I 
had a movement corner as a growth option, that'd be real cool. But it's fair that I don't, honestly. If anyone can do two damage, I can um, make two things not participate, two invaders not participate in Ravage. But I can't deal with the extra town on top of it. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. If you can defend two, I can I can stop the rest of the Ravage, though. Or just oh, one. I can defend it. I can defend three. Then I can stop the Ravage there, yeah. From up there. Easy. Let's hold my card plays though, so I don't get a whole lot on powers this turn. So that'll be these two not participating in the ravage, and then you'll defend it. This one for two. Mm -hmm. And then next, and then on the slow phase, I will walk in there and be like, "Sup, nerds!" and obliterate their faces. Wait. Um, cupcake was. Moving into this one, and then I was gonna spirit serpent or guardian serpent, so we block that one. And then this one was still a problem up here, so I was gonna do haunted primal memories. That one to help cover it. Wait, which is the problem? I'm confused now. Right? <laughs> Cuppy Cake, you were moving into here, yeah. right? Was what you said? Yeah, I was moving into there. Ah, okay. Then where do you want me? So I needed your help for this one, Jade. Okay, um, because this counts as a holy site, that works. So I can make those two not participate as long as to defend two, then that's okay. Yeah. And then I deal defend here and defend here. Okay, that works. Perfect. And this guy's just going to get. And that also adds a wrecked. beast to this one. Your shadow to that beast, though? Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay on I'm, I'm adding a lot more beasts than I expected on this on this spirit. Yeah, and your thing counts as a beast too, so like mm -hmm. Um, so that's this one done and then this one was add one fear and then I go nom 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 to the spooky hole with you <laughs> Alright, um, move over there. Who needs energy and more? You know what? And this is now isolated. And then. And then move and one, two. two. Um, stack, stack as many things in here as you can. By the way, who has Actually, three no, Dahan they can gather into their land? I have three Dahan. Yeah, yeah, if you want to try to gather that somewhere um, to get that energy and reclaim a power card. I mean, they're already there, so that already counts. <gasps> okay, cool. That's weird to be. Yeah. And then. Then what I'll do is I'll reclaim a uh, gift of living energy at the end of the turn. That way, I can use it for more energy, and next turn I can just do another plague ship because that will <gasps> that'll help us win. Because we are in uh, tier three after this, by the way. Yeah, and then Ooh. gather up to two. Once this turn, after really invaders are added. For fear cards too. I guess if invaders are added or moved from a specific upgame on sec. Um, oh, yeah, so, um. Basically, the invaders. Uh, I have a thing that basically, if invaders are added or moved around into a target land, just um, I'm guess is that for the phase or for the all turn? Hmm? For keep watch for new incursions, the second one here. 
What is this? this once one this turn. So that's any time this turn, but only once. Okay. <laughs> and, well, yeah, twice, I get to... because you get, twice because you get to repeat the power. Yeah, I don't think we've actually added or moved anything, so I don't think that counts too much anywhere. I would kill him for anything that builds, so like... True. Building in there, for example. Yeah. Um, Sprig gained three energy, by the way. Oh, you don't have any time there. Huh? Yay! Three! And pl he said three, right? Yeah. And next turn... Yo, next turn we'll be in phase three. Oh, Terra wait. three? I only did two fear. I forgot to do one more. Oops. Next, yeah, next turn we'll be in Terra three. <laughs> because of the uh, plague ship in the fast phase. That's a big deal. We're doing it. <laughs> yeah. We're doing it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, invader phase. Yes, yes, go. Yes. <laughs> All right. For the rest of this turn, ignore one strife. Well, we're very lucky that we weren't relying on that this turn. <laughs> yep. Um, Destroy two invaders in land with beasts. I mean, okay. On each board. Yep. Sure, I'll tell you. When invaders ravage, if the land has to haunt, defend two. Okay. Sure, that's relevant uh, in your lands. Please. Yeah. And each player pushes th up, up to three explorers or towns from a land not matching a build card. So anywhere that's not a jungle, you can push up to three nerds from it. Um... Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't think there's really anywhere that we want to that badly, except maybe here. Actually, yeah, I'll move. Um, or no, because I the, the it's hard because I move my incarnate during the growth phase, but it kidnaps in the fast phase. Wait, is this about to ravage here? Because this is six damage, no. or is this a no? This oh, is God, isolated. Like, no. It's well, Ice Lake doesn't stop it from blading itself, though, right? It just uh, stops the cascade. But you don't have um, counter like the attack first because of your power, right? I think you're using that up here. Yeah. Because I can just push this town up here. That way, this one doesn't blade at all. It's fully defended. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, that I'll, works. Then... Cover it. Yeah, then I'll stomp this area into dust on my on slow phase. Uh... Actually, I'm just realizing, hmm. just remembering. Oh, it's only on that one though. Oh, what? what? I have slow phase power that lets me abduct an, ex an invader if it's the only one present somewhere. Hmm. So, like, I can just abduct a city if it's the only thing there. Mm hmm. Yeah, that, that's amazing. I don't think it's oh. worth pushing anything right now, though. Someone in my chat points out that Isolate does not stop Cascade, which confused me because that's supposed to be like, you know, isolating the land so it doesn't count as adjacent to other things. But it does specifically say um, b that Blight is not an invader piece. And the, uh, it, things that prevent humans to, uh, from traveling doesn't affect the ecosystem spreading, so it would actually Cascade even with Isolated. Okay, it came from Surrounded by Dahan. We've been playing that wrong forever. I mean, we're fine yeah, now because, because... Isolate, we, we thought it was the things yeah. don't count as adjacent. But it's invaders for its it's for only of for invaders. That's interesting. That's good to know. We've been playing that wrong forever. Thank you, chat. <laughs> Thank you, better. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, um... I mean, I didn't even know that cascading destroyed presents until more recently. <laughs> No, I, you may not have remembered, but but that's has it. You, you've done it before. We... Well, I, I never knew until you mentioned it like a couple of sessions ago. <laughs> oh, a couple sessions ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Um. So, did you guys handle your anything else you want off the fears? Oh, well, okay. Pushes. I'm still trying to decide because I just like. Yeah. I can't. I don't think I'm going to. I don't think there's anywhere that's like really that worth it. All I can really do just, is. You know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. I'm Unless just I push it this way. All of these in one spot. <laughs> um, I could stomp there then on my on my turn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's probably the like the better value. That's the Because I can just stack two cities together in a bunch of towns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. We good then? Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, ravaging the coast. Okay. This guy gets so absolutely annihilated. Whoops. These two get destroyed by the Dahan attacking first. That's defended. And yeah. That's defended. That's nothing. That's clean. I do that's get over. Beautiful. Actually, wait. No, Build. there's a wild there. Oh, oh true. Building the jangle. Uh, with escalation, mm -hmm. the, our final escalation, which is the one where um, horrible things happen. That gets another city. Um, so the yeah, it's this one again still. Yep. So one, two, three across the Midlands. Don't love it, but we want to deal with it again. Downside is that all the further explore cards, all five of the last explore cards, are all tier threes. Mm -hmm. So um, that's gonna be fun. Um, did anyone add adjacent to one of my little land? Actually, oh wait, you built over here, right, in the jangle there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Once this turn, invaders are added. One damage per. Let's see, is there a Dahan there? Darn, no. never mind. So the one that there would be actually here. Yeah, yeah this here. One has here. One. Okay, yeah. So I guess that would damage uh Dahan would do one damage to add it removed, but that would uh, that, that wouldn't destroy it or anything. No. Worth marking though, I guess. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Uh explore in mountains and wetlands. And again, we're tier 3 for the rest of the game now. This is just our life. <laughs> oh wait, mountains and wetland. Whoop. So slow phase. I generate two more fear. I downgrade a town into an explorer. So I have two 4 damage stomps. Do you... I could stomp once here to break the town... Wait, town. Or I could walk into here and do eight. Or I, I could walk can, up to... I can just move in and abduct that town in the fast phase. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Then where do you want me to drop eight? Do you want me to... Because we, we have a... That's probably the nastiest one. Yeah, I will stomp into here. I, I agree. That's both cities right. and a town. Still doing right. slow phase though, right? Mm. Oh yeah, you are slow phase right now. Right, right, this right, is right. my yeah, this is my slow phase, yeah. Yep. Okay. So wait, wait, no. Not there. I'm trying to find a good spot to choose. We're in Terra 3 anyways. Wow. With I with with plague ships next turn. Yo, we doing this okay. though. Plague ships are winning us this game. One, two, fear, and then um, for each Dahan in original land, push up to one in one town. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's me. And I figure out where I should target for this to work. We actually have fairly few cities left on the board. 
get the one here, one here, and then two here. Yeah. And plague ships will break one of them. I think we're, I think a true fear victory might be in order just because we, of the board layout. Yeah. What I might do is I might move one of these towns just over here. Yeah, because I'm not stomping there anymore. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Next turn, they'll build here, but I will flatten everything they have. Uh, next year I might not because I'll be plague shipping. Okay. Maybe I can pull it off. I'll be playing double this, so yeah, I'll I'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Energy note, plague ship sail next turn. <laughs> you good, Sprig? Oh yeah, sorry, I right, cool. thought I had it <laughs> flipped today as like, oh, and my stream disconnected. Oh no! That hasn't happened for a little while, hasn't it? I know it was a problem for a bit there, but I thought it was getting too busy. It's been a problem with my ethernet, but it just happened with my Wi-Fi. Oh, heck. Because I have my, my ethernet disabled right now. You're breaking up on Discord too, audio-wise, so I think it might just be a connectivity issue on your end for a few. Uh, for a few. There you are. Hello. I think that was just like a normal Wi-Fi. Yeah. It's unfortunately more consistent than my Ethernet right now. Mm. And stream died again. Oh. Wait, no, I have to be with the present. The so Wi-Fi so. didn't get lost. It just like it went down. Like it just. So it oh, no. completely died. Oh, I forgot last turn. There's also a wilds here. No. Okay. Yeah, you're even timing out. Yeah, you gave me Wi-Fi issues. You're even timing out on a uh, tabletop sim. Ping 999. Oh, no. Oof. I'll try turning on my Ethernet again and see if maybe it works. <laughs> Looks like you might decide to not work. Kick me out entirely again with that deal. Looks like you're back for the moment, at least. Um. Yeah, I'm on Ethernet now. It's just like Ethernet just goes <coughs> and kills completely for no reason or explanation. Ugh. Okay, so you're doing plague ships. Okay, then I'll probably do an elemental boon then. And my if last I card. Need... Yeah, I need the elements. Thank you, puppy cake. Mm hmm. And then. Um, kicker is just beast fire, by the way. Okay. Beast fire and whatever you need. Sprig, you surviving? Oh no. I'm troubleshooting now because I'm my internet is still connected, but I'm getting zero kilobytes per second through OBS. That's what happened to me a few minutes ago. I had to restart OBS. Probably mountain. Okay, and now I'm I've got bit right again. Hooray! Uh, 
I don't, it's the worst thing is that I don't know if it's Twitch messing with me, I don't know if it's OBS messing with me, and I don't know if it's my internet messing with me, because my internet, like, ethernet has been just dying at random like that for a while. I think internet, because you were timing out in, uh, you were getting scramble voice in, in voice here, and I could see you timing out in tabletop sim, so I think it was just your wholesale internet for oh. a few seconds. Not that like, I can better, get that but... when I went on Wi-Fi, but then I went on to Ethernet, and my kilobytes per second upload still went down to zero in, e in OBS, despite having Ethernet and Wi-Fi active. Jeez, I had no idea. In Discord and tabletop sim behaving again. <laughs> set presence there and then I have one escapes I can go into the desert with the others mm -hmm. and then I gain energy equal to card plays which now is three and I can move my incarna to a land with my presence but I don't want to because I want to use the fast <laughs> phase to do its thing a thing Okay. Yo, shout out to plague ships, though. So I just need elements this turn. Is I need elements and nothing else. Like I don't care what the cards do. I need my elements. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a mood sometimes, isn't it? Like I don't even know what my cards do. Don't care. I'm just gonna put cards here until I can play the the, the uh, hero powers I need. Okay. If I moved into an area, I can proc all of my Dahan in, in that area. Oh, wow. So if anyone yeah. wants to... <laughs> um, anyway, let's run that I'm one. So close. I don't suppose you, you're... Do you have a plan for the elemental already? <laughs> Unfortunately, the plague yeah. ships... Oh... <laughs> One then, and then... Yeah, I'm I'm entirely reliant, reliant on Elemental yeah. Bloom for the Plague Ships. Hmm. Because that... I'm like, super close to flagging all of my powers. I'm one off from, oh, oh, no. from flagging every single power. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Um... Yep, that's my power sister. That's, that's the best I can do mathematically, I think. Okay. Actually, I can do slightly better for one thing. No, I can't because I can't get the kicker. Hmm. <laughs> Wah. Yeah, I'm hogging the elements. Unless <laughs> I trade, hang on. I've got... No, because I only have two wind, so I don't have a spare wind. Ah! <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wait, instead of it being a mountain, I might switch it for your sun. If I, because then, if I switch it to be sun, oh wait, either way, never mind, I can't do it either way. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Easy come, easy go. Um, yeah. Fast phase, um, plague ships first, I think. We just blast this city into... <laughs> Rubble, because mm -hmm. heck yeah, that's off the of three damage. The leg on my part. It does uh -huh. still do one disease. Free fear and is uh well the sick happens after. So three energy per player, aided by removing ener uh disease. I'm gonna sack one disease because I have no extra energy. You two can. Mm -hmm. I can sacrifice like energy. Right. Bam, but that, gosh, that is 12 fear, that is 15 fear. <laughs> and then I add the disease. Golly. Okay, that... Alright, so um... Much, so much heavy lifting with that card, I love it. Who, who can... Oh wait. Who has at least three among their, uh, Dahan among their land and want energy? 
or can good. gather that. Good. I do. It's good here. Yeah. And okay. I can and then get down. Mm -hmm. you can also reclaim one of your cards. Alright. So you go on, Swig. Uh, I was just like, so I scoot and I kidnap town, and then I scoot and I kidnap explorer, and I scoot and I kidnap explorer, and I scoot and I kidnap explorer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my okay, gosh, I'm gonna that's move in there, And I'm gonna move into here. That's just my innate power. That's incredible. Um, but the last one flags not just one exp like one damage, so I can kidnap one explorer. It's grab an invader. So nice. I can just like jump in and steal a city. <laughs> Snipe a city? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I won't be able to deal with everything in here, but I'll at least be able to take care of two of the towns. Mm hmm By the um... um ooh. Ooh! <gasps> and then I have infinite darkness. Would anyone mm -hmm. like to visit the spooky hole? Um, sure. Here you go. Hey, hey, I think we win next turn. Oh? Yeah, because you're going to reclaim that card? Because we're going to reclaim disimports and we have mm -hmm. a, a multiple disease on the island. To pay for it. As long as... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Sprig's uh, definitely gonna be spooky enough, right? Yeah, I am going to, so I'm going to kidnap one of my own presents back in Spooky Hole. Which nice. now gives me plus one range on my powers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then now I use Swallowed by the Endless Dark to get two fear and mm -hmm. kidnap this person too. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm done. Yay! Alright, um, we're still Healthy Island. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Add a add a city to a coastal land with a city. So, this one. <laughs> yep, on, on each board, though. That's the only um, that's, that's, that's not a coast. coastal. That's not a coast. That's not a coast. I keep on... It's the only coastal city. That one location. Yep. Okay, yeah, okay. Add one disease to the coastal land with the most... Um, towns or cities in that land, three damage to Dahan. Okay, more disease on the board helps me. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we can. Each move spirit a may push. Yeah, from a land with Dahan, two damage to the land pushed from. Pushed two. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna so... move. Okay, okay, so check this out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, there's no Dahan here. Never mind. <laughs> Otherwise, if you push yourself into this <laughs> land and do too much. <laughs> Are we covering this land right now? Which one? This one? Um, I, I can take care of two of the there? towns, but I can't fully cover everything. Because if I bump presents in, I can do two damage and pop one of the towns. Yeah, hey, and hey, the, uh... Hey, hey Sprig. Yes, I'm Sprig. Hey, hey, hey Sprig. Yes. Hey, your, your incarnate counts as a presence. That's what I was gonna do. Yeah, it's so cool. You can move your, you can move your incarnate yeah. like, Hi, it's a presence. Yeah. Do two damage and abduct something for free. I think the, the abduct is only when I directly damage or destroy something with my powers. Oh, I thought you had to do it when he moved. Nope. Nope, okay. It's, I have a power that specifically does one damage, and then because I do one damage with one of my powers, I absorb them. I kidnap them. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. But for this event, I do two damage, kill the town, get one mm -hmm. fear. Nice! Also, m having more than four things in the spooky hole actually doesn't benefit me at all, other than taking them off the board. Okay, okay. So, like, destroying something is still better than putting it in the spooky hole, once mm -hmm, I have mm -hmm. four things. Well, it also gives you but a buffer, like, though. Hmm. But if I, like, yeah. fill the spooky hole with things and then I flag my, uh, my second power on Lost in the Endless Dark, mm -hmm. it just downgrades everything in the spooky hole. Yeah, you just shatter it. kills all the explorers. Yeah. Alright, so we got ready for fear? Because we got two tier mm -hmm. three fear cards. 
Yeah. Step one, each... Oh, oh! Each player chooses a different land with a town or city. Gather a Dahan into that land and two damage per Dahan. Oh, um, so, you know, I'm just gonna bring that in here. And we're just gonna pop another one of those towns. I'm actually gonna move this one over here to pop this town. So okay. that it, uh, so that it doesn't growth. Yeah. I would recommend doing it to this town as well. Oh, so yeah. Swapped us back on the Wi Fi stream. Should. Alright, never mind. Instead of that, good, good, good. what I'll do is if I do it to there instead. Well, oh, actually, no, because I, I, it was, I did this one over here. Oops. Oh, good. Yeah. So that's I not my presence, okay? <laughs> this one and gather it on in to kill this? Yeah. Makes sense. That one now that it won't even grow. Actually, no, I'm not that one. I do this one to blow up this jungle. That's oh wait, that was about to ravage. Hey, <laughs> good call. <laughs> yeah, slightly smarter. <laughs> oh hey, what was yeah. the town doing there? Normally I didn't I didn't notice I've them. Been... Who are you? Normally I've been taking care of the towns there every time they show up by just kidnapping them, but I'm coming over <laughs> here to help with this stuff right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also I also wanna just like cover for a second. My incarnate was here at the start of this turn. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. All right, each player may. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I may choose a land. Invaders do not ravage. <laughs> each player. So um, I'm gonna choose this one. I guess. Why not? Uh, they don't ravage this turn anyway. Oh wait, that's yeah. Okay, well. This this is the only place they ravage. <laughs> oh yeah. Problem hecking solved. Eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Uh, Ravage in the jungle, psych. <laughs> <laughs> Build, Build in mountains and wetlands. and wetlands. Well, that's your just to do, actually. That's, yeah. That's fine. Sorry. Here, I'll, I'll pick it up. <laughs> and so... Uh, no. There we go. Explore the jungle and the mountains. Or wetlands. Jungle and Jingles, wetlands. Nice, 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 nice. I feel like we could have pressured to for uh, shattering cities, but we got this. Mm -hmm. We we win this off the back of uh, plague ships. Next turn, unless something horrible horrible happens. Low phase. Okay. Um, I am gonna go pop one of these. Let's see. How about I remove this blight up, oh, I move that blight, I take that, and then I move that blight over here. We may not even get a chance to plague ships. <laughs> um, so I, I do one, two, three, four spooky for having things in the spooky hole. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I turn this town into an explorer. <laughs> and I add a beast to the spooky hole. Mm hmm. And then also, uh, I add one more fear and a strife because there's a beast present in the spooky hole. And then three more strife for it being tier three. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Two, three. And then one more strife for it being in the spooky hole. <laughs> Normal things. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'll die. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. Can we generate two fear in the fast phase? What do you think? Are we up to the challenge? Um. Yes, I can ex generate exactly two fear <laughs> during the fast phase. I think Spring can generate like forty. To <laughs> <laughs> oh um, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like I'm. I'm ready to. I have a. Plague ships back online, but uh, it seems kind of a uh... just curious as to what I can get here. Gain hey, four wait, energy. You... Cupcake, you're the only spirit that doesn't have a physical form. You can manifest incarnation and be like us now. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do negative <you know> six. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it's just, at this point it's just to flex, right? At this yeah. point it's purely Rather for flexing. Plus one fear for that. Um, okay, so um, we'll forget this one. So all of these get released, which is kind of throw this over here. <laughs> hard to do with the strife counters on them. <laughs> I think you can just hand wave it since we're about to win. We're just gonna. Yeah, I'll just take these are going in there. I'm just gonna move it over on this side <laughs> so that we can see. Then... They're going no, no, in spig, there. No, no, spig, 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 spig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Handled. <laughs> so um. I'm, I'm trying to do something doofy just because I want to see if I can do it. Um. I have Moon Wind and Beast. Moon Wind and Beast. I can't do Moon Wind and Beast on a third card. I can only do Moon and Wind. But I already have two Beast, so it's. I just need another Moon and Wind. So I'll do this Moon and Wind. And that flags everything! Not quite, but close! <laughs> Basically, yeah. So now I can just, like, scoot my incarnate all the way across the board. <laughs> and generate a billion fear. Mm-hmm. Who wants to do the honors? I want generate two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was doing Swallowed by Endless Dark, so I also generate two off of that one. <laughs> So, like, I love the spirit. Ember Eyed Behemoth just stomps and stomps and never stops. And I didn't have to do it, but I could. I, you, I, instead of moving the, my spirit, uh, my incarnate, I can teleport it to any of my holy sites. So, if I needed it to be somewhere fat, like, I didn't really need that because I kept on be having situations where, like, okay, I can stomp a path there that's going to still be valuable. But I could. And the, the fact that I had that option as well is nice. The. Eight damage on a land is crazy. I love it. Counting as a holy site is super... Having a mobile holy site alone is super relevant, right? Mm. It has a two presence growth option. The uh, empower is free. You could flag that turn one if you wanted to. I love the spirit. It's just, it's good. It's amazing. It's fun. It's effective. And it doesn't feel actually feel overpowered. How are you feeling, Cuppy Cake? It was great. Um, it was a lot of fun just trying out this new, uh, <laughs> this new spirit. Just kind of traveling, over, just like grabbing the heart and being like, "All right, you're nuking this area." <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sprig, was it everything you hoped for? It, it took me a little bit to fully like clue into how I was meant to be playing it, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. but once I did. It, it plays really weirdly. It plays similar to um, the Shroud of Silent Mist mixed with Bringer of Dreams and Nightmares. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Um, it's super cool. I really like, especially once I figured out how the like move things back out of the spooky hole worked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I was a lot less scared to take things like to take things out of the spooky hole once I learned that. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it, it is very, very cool. I really I like how it's like a spooky spirit that's highly mobile and... kind of also semi-supporty at the same time. Mm-hmm. It's a good fear spirit. Mm hmm Mine's a good damage spirit, and we and uh, Cupcake has a really good uh, support spirit. I mean, it's it's, yeah, it's a different type of like, support. I'd call it support, though. Oh, and like the the breath of darkness down your spine, or the lost and endless dark ability, is like it's such consistent fear so easily. Yeah. It's like it's. Oh, you've got it's like you've growthed twice and played a moon wind card. Mm-hmm. Here's four fear. <laughs> <laughs> that, that adds up real quick. Yep. I think the MVP, though, is distant ships. Is, uh, uh plague ports. Yeah. 
I no, think that's the, the MVP. Flagship's absolutely was the MVP card this game. Yeah, that that's an ins that's a win condition. There's not a whole lot of um, there's not a whole lot of major powers that are just straight up legit win conditions on their own. But there's a couple, mm -hmm. right? There's this. There's uh, briny deeps is a, is a win condition in a lot of yep. in most situations. Um, mm -hmm. I would argue that paralyzing fright is a win condition because it's it's a it's eight fear per turn which is you know but like and manifest incarnation is a win condition but mm. this is a a new win condition of a uh, major power straight up you get this if you can support it you win and i could thanks to cupcakes uh uh elements yeah a lot of boon came in clutch Either I was forgetting to place my presence on turns, or like... <laughs> something <laughs> was going on, because I, I was so much slower getting my presence out. Hmm, well, keep in mind that I had a two presence power, and uh, Cupcake yes. has a presence on Reclaim, so I, th I think that we just had more oh, ramp yeah. than you. Well, I only reclaimed twice, though, in the whole game, so I would still oh, really? only wow. be like... Two presents behind Cuppy Cake in that case. Huh. But yeah, no. you do have the one extra on the bonus, like the starter track, because you play three at the start. So I, if mm -hmm. I had the two more, I would be one presence behind you. Okay. I don't know. No, that's I not my fault. I have just forgotten to play a presence on one turn or something. And no, Buck, that was my my phone notifying me that um, tick my TikTok exists. Ah. <laughs> I usually put that outside of my mic range, but I didn't, so deal with it. <laughs> um. Yeah, should we? Re I, I'm good to re rack and go again. Yeah, I was just gonna refill water really quick. Take a little quick break and feed yeah. my cat so he doesn't bother me. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> um, I'm gonna load the there game. There was like the hmm? Finder Paths Unseen absolutely feels like in all with all three of these spirits would have been a crazy powerful addition. Right! Finder Paths Unseen got majorly buffed this expansion because of the way it interacts with Incarna, right? Mm -hmm. Finder Paths Unseen means Emberide Behemoth is everywhere it wants to be forever. Mm -hmm. Finder Paths Unseen means means Breath of Darkness can just go absolutely ham. It's like... Mm -hmm. Just yeah. everything goes in the spooky hole. Yep, now you can't throw everything in the spooky hole, I don't, I don't... Can you? Can other people push into the spooky hole? No, you have to abduct it. Um... Please. Um... But it's right, because they can't the... target it. Yes. Other spirits can't target it. But, mm -hmm. like, you can just make anything adjacent to it, even though there's no adjacency. <laughs> and Hearth Visual, that means that the that the Dahan can always, are always accessible. Also something that I only realized at the very end, fear and event cards affect the spooky hole. That's true, yeah. We ignored the spooky hole for those whole game. I'm I really want to play Keening uh Delirium. Oh. That that's I think the Towering Roots is my next one I wanna try. Oh really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, can I just say how exciting these are compared oh, to the absolutely. last expansion? Yeah. Compared to the last expansion was really weak, to be blunt. These yeah. are good beginners cards. These are good starting cards for people who are just like you know new to Spirit Island. Mm -hmm. But they're not interesting. I mean, like mm. I don't know. I I didn't get a whole lot out of them. I guess I, Devouring Teeth was kind of cool, and no, I, I take it back. No, Eyes Watch from the Trees is good. Eyes Watch from the Trees yeah. is good. The, but like but, they they felt a lot more hit and miss. Yeah, they felt a lot like, more less inspired. Every single one of these mm -hmm. spirits seems absolutely inspired. 
Yeah, I, what I feel like is the, um... What it feels like to me, a little bit at least, is that, like, the last expansion was the honorable mentions of this expansion. <laughs> so, I, my, what I, my read is, the last expansion was the way of getting new people into the game, right? There's always yeah. a problem mm -hmm. of getting people into the game after four expansions or whatever. It's because like, it's like, you know, okay, the game is too much now. The game is too much to start out, right? And that expansion, uh, I forget what it was called, actually. That expansion was was a beginner's expansion. All the spirits are very easy to play. And this is an advanced expansion. All the spirits here are complicated and for people who have been playing Spirit Island for a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm taking Delirium. I'll be back in just I'm, a sec. Yeah, I'm torn <laughs> between wounded waters bleeding and relentless gaze of the sun. I, I would love to see wounded waters. That, I am so hyped to try that at some point. Uh, yeah. I think I am going to step away for a second too and just like grab a snack. Good idea. Oops, forgot to pick spot. So Chet, I'll give you a battle royale to kill the moment, and I'll be right back. Return train for me. Hello? Hello? You taking moon waters? Yes. Hype. Moon waters is, looks so interesting. Like, you are dying. Right? Oh, one thing I, I uh, note unlike every other spirit, you start with four energy. Oh, okay. That's that's the only way your your card works if we're starting with zero energy until like turn four or whatever. Oh yeah, you start with four Thank okay. You. Set your <laughs> four healing cards nearby. Oh, these are what these are. Interesting. Yeah. So the way that works is and you can you can see with the healing markers, is that you replace your abilities either with all water or all beast. And then mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, and then go from there. Starts off wounded, losing a a power card every turn. Heals over the course of the game. Mm -hmm. so Interesting. You're, you're powerful. Yeah. Right Wandering voice looks really neat. I think this is going to be. A, it's also interesting because it is a it's a wind spirit, but it's also a sun moon spirit. It's also a sun and moon spirit. It's also a pure um, strife spirit. Like I am a I am a strife machine. Uh -huh. I'm a machine that generates strife. I think I'm gonna push for empowering as soon as possible. I think I can, I can empower on like turn three or something. Oops! Did not mean to close that. When you're powered. Oh, okay.
Okay, so your healing markers have states. You can you can use one, two, and three on them to change the state. <laughs> okay. That way they don't disappear when you when we when the board cleans up all the temporary uh, element markers. Ha pa pa pa. Ha pa 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 pa. Ha pa 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 pa. All right. Um, we good for random adversary two to four again? Yeah. <laughs> Let's dance. There is a new adversary, by the way. I'm just, I, I'm gonna leave it to RNG, but there is a new adversary, which could be super bad for us. <laughs> I'm, ex I'm excited for it. <laughs> uh, we are France one. I put one, I think, here because where the light. Oh, okay. So the. Oh, that's forever. Oh, okay. Anytime invaders explore into a land that does not have a building, they get double. They get two explorers, which means an explorer can blight on its own. And... Six and seven. Okay, this one's specifically from the box, apparently. That's Yeah, that's important. And then you start with your four unique power cards and four energy. Put your four healing cards nearby. Benefits. Okay. okay, so what's my math on this? Hold on, let me just do let me do an actual like math calculation, okay? I have the resources in my in my hand to empower my incarnate, right? Uh-huh. Needs a grass, needs a moon, and a fire. Playing cards, each so spirit phase. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I do that. Oh, wait, I start with zero energy a turn, huh? Is that okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try doing something dumb. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is probably a bad idea. Do not do this at home. I'm gonna try to empower my incarnate on turn two. Oh. Which means I'm playing no cards on turn one. I will also do that. I am playing cards on turn one. <laughs> <laughs> Spriggs like, I'm gonna do that too, but I'm gonna power be smart about cared. it. <laughs> oh. Go with a miner right now. Oh, gift of twin days. Yo! Nice. Um... I'm gonna take that. <laughs> and then by the way, the expansion is almost all major powers, by the way. It makes sense. Oh. Open explorers and, uh, first explorers in the jungle, by the way. Okay. There we go. By the way, by the way, by the way. Hmm, this is... I don't know, Sh should I fly too close to the sun? What do you think? What do you think, what do you think, what do you think? Um... Why not? What could possibly go wrong? Everything. And one card play. Okay, so I can do one card play right now. Um, 
Yeah, this is almost certainly bad. This is almost 100% BAD bad. Because my mm. empowered my empowered isn't even that good. It's just now my my uh Incarna permanently um isolates any land that it's in. It's good, but mm. I don't think it's actually amazing. But Mine it is, is funny. Mine is that they no longer build at my incarnate. That's real good. I, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing anything. I I pass. Actually, that's place, slow. Place presence past turn. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, wait. Um, gather G up. GG, go next. No. Actually, no, I'll just go with this. Yeah, that'll probably be best for now. Um. Very big blue player land pass energy. <laughs> right? <laughs> um. Build jungle, explore wetlands. Oh, doy! Sorry, I forgot that's about how my incarnate works, so I'm just putting that there instead. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because that is a holy site, eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, slow phase for those of you who are actually taking turns this turn, like, you know, absolutely <laughs> mad peoples, mad lads. Um, oh wait, that's a city. Oh! And then town. Next week I'll take Relentless Gaze for certainty. <laughs> Okay, and, and then again. two fear. One, two, and then push one town and one explorer. So what if we just push them over here? And then after I've played a card, you can claim... Oh, turn three. You can only your first healing card. Oh, you may claim a healing card if you need the requirements. Claim a... Wait, how do you get the- uh, where's the healing marker claim thingy? Huh? How do we do that again? Cl the healing yeah. marker? Uh, right there. At yeah. After playing cards, each spirit phase... I only play one now, so I'm just like, where- I forgot how to- Oh, oh here it is. It, you pull it out, then you oh, right. to, to pick. Okay, okay. So, um... Do I want to go... Yeah, I'll just go for water right now. Oh wait, I have to forget a card. We'll forget you for now. Hmm, vitality, eh? You guys frig? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I do thing now. Boop. I'm done. <laughs> that was the slow phase, right? Yes. Alright. Uh, time passes. Now I do things. Let's bet you there. And I play out... Oh! I forgot to do one other thing during my turn was to gather a ton. Because my power was flanked. Mm-hmm. You have a vein of blood, though? Ooh! Wait, is fire... A vein of blood's better, because I had a billion strife already. I don't really get stone, so I won't be able to do that. 
but um water beast and leaf. Alright, and now I add another vitality of my Incarna. Dang, I flipped my Incarna. <laughs> nice. Hey, look, I get to take a turn this turn. Um, she's that. And... I'm growthed. Also, I clearly did not take enough trees when I got my snack because it's all gone. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that doesn't flag. What does it miss? Oh, why isn't that? Oh, it doesn't have nighttime on it. Got it. I need the moon. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Good. 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 Everything's going fantastic. Gosh. I have cashews. You want to have a low power thing that they would want to repeat? Co all, of my um, stuff is, all of my stuff is low power. Um, I mean, technically, this would be the only. Would I be able to twin days? Twin days? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, well, otherwise, yeah, I, I don't really have much I can do right now, so I can I, I can twin days someone else and be, let that be useful for someone. Is that good for you, Sprig, or? Um. I could do something with Twin Days, but then, yeah, I'll do it. It's, I do this, and then I do this. Yeah. And then I can duplicate Bone of Resilience power. Would anyone like to gain two major power cards? Oh my goodness, yes. Or sorry, oh I can God. only give you regular, I can only give you minors. I can give myself majors. Still. Solo. I mean. And I have to pay for that again. Yeah. Actually, no. Um, cupcake needs it more. Cupcake needs it more. Oh yeah, because I'm hemorrhaging cards. <laughs> yeah, you are bleeding okay. out. So in slow phase, just gain two power cards. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> Sprig, um, I do this. War crimes ensue. <laughs> uh, and then I I defend yes in this land. <laughs> One, two, three, right. four, five, six, seven, eight. Are we ready for, for, for a fast phase? He. Yeah, okay, so twin days. That means I also get my little healing marker. Yeah. Oh, do you? Wait, do you? Yeah, because um, I get it after each time I play a card. Oh, I thought you had to... Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's, it's not... I, I can't pull out the healing cards yet until the third turn, though. I thought you had to have a water to be able to, to uh, heal with water. Oh. Matching whichever water or... Oh, I don't know. I don't really understand, if, unless I'm reading that wrong. Is this a claim whichever you have more of? Yeah, which is... You break ties, which is zero. I guess that works. That seems wrong. I don't know. I mean, I guess it works. Screw it. I don't know. I don't understand anything. Um, all I know is my incurrence going here, which is going to put a strife on this. And also generate two fear. Oh, but you get huh? one of either one for your growth option, so you just choose which True. one you want for your growth option, and then you have one oh, more yeah. one another. True. Yep, there you go. I feel better about it now. Okay. Right, so I push my incarnate into here, which uh, which uh, puts a strife on someone. Um, that also pushes it. Uh, pushes the. No, it doesn't. I, they stay there. I want them to stay there. That's good. We like that. Um, and joins to fear. Then I can, then I may, may push my incarnate. So I'm gonna push it here and put a strife on this thing. And then I may, may push my incarnate. So I'm gonna push it here, and I may put a strife on something. <laughs> And 
And then I generate two fear. Uh, what am I targeting? I'm targeting it here because I actually want the Ravage. No, here. I'm targeting here. The, this guide also does not participate in Ravage, which means that it keeps the Strife Marker, basically. Hmm. Oh, wait. My, one of these pushes is actually in the slow phase, but whatever. Doesn't actually make a meaningful distinction. Yeah, that's me. Oh, um, yeah, everything else is slow. Oh, yeah. You good, Sprig? <gasps> Sorry. No worries. I thought I pushed the button again. Alright, so now we have an event. Um, invaders do not ravage unless there are more invaders than the terror level. Okay. Um, beasts do a damage apiece, which is actually quite relevant in a, in a couple places. Mm -hmm. Like here. Yeah. And there. Chomp. And then... Yep. Dahan escape the uh, Badlands and Disease. Okay. Okay. Um, ravage in the jungle. Oh, look. They're strifed. What a shame. They die. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. They're not okay. strifed. We're oh, wait. That's a blight cascade. Whoopsies. I made a mistake. So, as a heads up, they don't build here ever anymore? Yep. Oh. Oh, and then... Gee, she's cascading to here. Fatality. Oh. True. Let's see, okay, so the city would uh, basically light here, right? Or yeah. Cascade? Yeah. And then Not Cascade. The best first turn. No, I, I think. <laughs> and then that. Uh, where should Cascade? Oh yeah, that would also break the presence there. Uh, I don't think I have protection against that either. Which... Fine. Boop. I can already tell that I'm playing the spirit wrong. Uh, wrong. Not wrong as in incorrectly, but wrong as in poorly. <laughs> Benefit. I don't care, I'm having fun. <laughs> It's a learning experience. Exactly, Aww. exactly. <laughs> Alright, um... Building wetlands, right? Oof, that's gonna be a problem. Explore in the mountains. I need to start moving back south real quick. Okay. So I will. <laughs> Alright. We do the thing? Oh, and then I need... Yeah, and then I need to forget another card. So in the slow phase, I'm going to use the ability that, while not incredibly strong now... I think is low-key going to be the strong, one of the strongest abilities in the expansion. One fear for every moon element that I have. <laughs> that That's going to add up real quick, right? Like, that's going to become bonkers. Yep. And then one damage per sun, but only to invaders with, uh... Uh, with strife. So I can just nuke the city, because I have three. And then for every... Oh, this has to be the same land, though, because these are all targets one land. <laughs> I could destroy another invader with a strife, but they don't exist because I nuked a city. 
Oh, right. And also, if there's nothing where they explore, they explore with two explorers, mind you. Just a reminder, because I forgot. All right, and then you were targeting me with a boon of resilient power, right? On the slow phase? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then... The... two powers. Yes, and then I put my little thing back. I just realized that probably ate the card that I... Hold on. Target land has no blight. Add one. If target land has exactly one blight, remove it. No, but I actually need blight. Um... <laughs> <laughs> One fear, one damage. We pay one energy to deal one damage on adjacent land. If there are to Han, add one. Um, hmm. what are my water, beast, and grass? So keep in mind, you you will get new powers once you get your enough uh, healing markers. True. Target has your. I'll leave this for now. And then, alright, and then another one. Boop. Mm -hmm. And another. <laughs> Yo, Elemental, elemental Boon! Elemental Boon! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, it's really good for you, too, because you need uh, elements that you don't start with, right? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> like, not even for support. You, you could use that just internally on your own character. Okay. Uh, I'm done with slow phase. I am also done with slow phase. Same. Oh, this blight was supposed to be the one uh, from the, the from the box, quote unquote, one for your setup. You oh, whoops. Okay. Oh, you can do, you, you edit it from the box from the box instead of taking yeah. it in there. So. And then, yeah, I wasn't sure when it said from the well, box if I was supposed to. You can't put it back on the on there because it's it go, it's from the box. Oh, the, right. Yeah. Okay. No, no, you can just put it there and just and just delete. Okay. Just, just clean yeah. It. Yeah, yeah. Delete. <laughs> I'm trying. It's. Oh, you're deleting. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to promote everybody at the start of the game. My bad. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> All right. So we done with turn. Still checking. Mm -hmm. And then. Whoa, I'm actually gonna gain an energy this turn. That's, this is a new experience for me. To do water for now. Hmm. And claim your healing card on turn three. Actually, do I do that? Is that smart? I might be smart. I might be being. Dumb. I might have to do something to. I can't. No, 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 no. I no, 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 no. no. I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, if I claim this healing card, do I just put it up here? Hmm? Yeah. Mm hmm? Okay. I put it to this side so it doesn't hide the artwork, but that's just because I like the artwork. <laughs> oh, fair. Um. Wait, is it turn three already? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Jeez. I'm making a power card. I need to reclaim this turn, even though I don't need my stuff back. I need to teleport my Ankara so I don't die horribly. Oh no! It also gives me an energy. I can move any other Jahan. You made to my Ankara here, which lets me strike. One strife. invader site. I'm gonna take Nature's Resilience, I think. Okay. Mm 
Yeah, if I teleport it in here, I get to do stuff. Who wants a minor power? It's it's cupcake, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I think my healing card has not removed that rule for me yet. I think that's not for a while. Yeah. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh-huh. Fast phase. Fast phase, I just shimmy around the board. Um All right. When was the minor card thing? Or is that slow phase? It's slow phase. Okay, that works for me. Um if target land has Alright, so I move my Incarna here, drop a Strife, and then I just move it back here and drop another Strife. That's just my double push. I could push these around, but I don't actually want to because I want this Dahan to do work. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna target this land and pop this Explorer and generate a Fear because I targeted the land where I'm at. And then... Generate two Fear? Pop an explorer and pop an explorer. Who wants energy? Nice. Um, I wouldn't be opposed. Do you, how energy hungry are you, Sprig? Not very. All my stuff is zeros or ones right now. Same, but I don't actually gain a lot of energy ever. So, oh, no, sorry, not energy. Sorry, uh, elements. Oh, oh. My brain, my brain keeps saying the wrong thing. Um, yeah. If anyone needs any elements. Not especially. I, I could use a wind. Yeah. If I could get a wind and a sun. Yeah. Is that cool? Is that cool? Are you mm -hmm. cool with that? And then... I have... So... I do two water. I can push that. Yeah, I'll probably give myself a water. Then. Oh so wait, that... hold on. Actually, no, I don't need oh? that. My that ability only targets enemies with strife, and and they're about to lose all the strife during the uh, invader phase. So actually, that's completely useless for me. Oh okay. So sprig elements. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> yeah. Um, if I get one sun and one plant. Yeah, one sun, one um, plant. Yeah, that flags almost all of my powers. That's pretty nice. Um, actually, if I grab one and one more plant, then I would yeah. flag my, even my last one. Go for it. Can't grab two plants with it. Okay. Oh, it has to be. Oh, it has to be a different one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, three, three different elements. Then I can. No, I can't quite flag anything else. So the mm -hmm. last one doesn't matter. Okay, the last one I'll probably just grab a water so I can flag something of mine. Okay. Wait on. Yeah. Here we go. Yep. What phase are we on? That was fast phase, right? Yeah, that was fast phase. Um, okay. yeah, and then mm -hmm. all my other stuff is slow. Gosh, I build this area out so hard this turn. I got no growth, but I need that what had to happen. That was still a good turn. Mm -hmm. I'm still happy with it. Um... Oh, oh, good! When exploring, add additional explorer to each of the Oh my god, did someone get three? <laughs> it's triple. Yes, yeah, so they, so they explore with triplicates. They're, they're working in teams now. No! Okay, what I, oh, oh, dang it. I actually could have used those elements. Do not Invaders ravage in lands with disease or strife. Yeah, that's good. It's good adjacent, at least. Is it. Actually, no, you're not going to call well, that good. That's that good. that doesn't remove your strifes. Right, but I can't do much with it this turn. <laughs> um, yeah, on each board, push. So they run away from town, from cities. 
Jahan went from cities. They're not in any cities. Defend two in all lands of presence, though. Yeah. Um, is that gonna cover Sa anything now? Saves this. Mm -hmm. Wait, you don't have presence there. I thought. I, no, I don't um, have presence there. <laughs> I saw Dahan and. Here, but yeah. it's not quite enough. Hmm. <laughs> same here, except it's blatant, not present. Yeah, you get whatever. I feel like we're gonna blight the next turn. <laughs> oh, we blatant this turn. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what it meant. Um, no, we're on... we're blighting this turn. This is gonna go real bad, real fast. I blame my own start, uh, frankly. That's my bad. I didn't do anything turn one. I, and... I also don't have a lot of reach. I just kind of like immediately next to me is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we might be boned. Um, Ravage in wetlands. <laughs> uh oh. Um, I guess does. Immediately on- oh, okay. actually that's not so bad. Immediately on each board, add a town and a city to an inland land with neither. This kills one of the Dahan, right? Um, say I... Boop. That's not that bad. The biggest problem with this is that we're dealing with Blighted Island cards in the events. But this- we, that is, as, an, as a Blight card, uh, we can deal with that, right? Actually, wait, that's, no. That's annoying, but we can work with that. The events are going to be brutal now, though. That's the problem. Well, at That's least the take care of the problem. town. And then town... That's two. No, wait. And then, yeah, one of these would be tough. And then they build mountains. Yeah. Um, oh, my mountains are clear. And then and, explore. And the, okay, They're sure, just back. why not? Oops, wrrong one. Remember, they're exploring with an extra one. Well, All right. But they only yep. do the natural double explore if there's nothing there, right? Yes, that is correct. Just now realizing that I didn't have any music going, so I'm gonna turn on my music. <laughs> cool. Alright, um, slow phase. Um, okay. So I remove a town, remove a town, remove an invader. Wait, what? Push up That's to my second two. power. I'm gonna. Oh, I, didn't I didn't have the invader one flagged. Sorry. Um, that has to be your own land, though. That has to be on your uh. On your. Oh, on, on my your Yeah. You have to use your first power I to said, gather yeah, them. Yeah, I was. Okay, yes. Yeah, so that I just mm -hmm. couldn't gather them, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I can push that. One, one town, one to hunt. Mm hmm Okay. So I guess I'll just pull this mountain in, just like, hey, you guys are coming in here now, come see the tree! Who wants tree, a, uh, gra Tree Grandma brought you biscuits! Yo, hi! Huh? So now I'll remove, remove. Um, Which is still too fair. Someone can spend an, well, one energy to get a uh, miner. I'll take it. Still hemorrhaging cards at the very least, I'm pretty sure. The miner. Um, okay, I need... Um, I think I'm gonna do... Yeah, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna add the wilds, I think, is the worthwhile option. Just... I'm gonna take the defend 10. Because, uh, power uh, I'm scared. If moves into one of your lands, you may downgrade one invader from there. Actually, okay, I need to start what? moving Dahan around. Whoops. Actually, no, I'm taking Serpents, because it has Sun and Moon, and I just have to have a... Yeah, that's better. Mm -hmm. Serpents is better for me, because it has my uh, Sun and Moon, and because my... 
Incarna counts as a holy site, I can just say, okay, my okay. Incarna is there. It, it it counts. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Alright, um, add a strife. I can push the invader. I added strife too. So, you can go away. Another healing card. Um, I can. No, well, doesn't really make a difference. Um. Okay. Guess that's my turn. That's me too. Wait, oh wait, to... that was fast phase, wasn't it? No, no that was slow phase. That no, that was, was slow. okay. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm, I'm just being dumb. Okay, disregard. Hello, how do you do? <laughs> Can you hold him to the head? I guess I'll just put another presence right here. <laughs> I'm gonna put a holy site there because it's fun. Seems nice. You know, it seems like it a nice place to specifically. A healing, a healing cards removing the rule of destroying a present or forgetting a card, but I don't actually notice in in the rules on the healing cards that it mentions that specifically on reading on any of them. I also may not know how to read. Um, see at the, at the top where it says replaces uh, seeking a path towards healing, seeking path towards oh. healing is what's doing it. Oh. Okay. Whoops. Yes. Yeah, so, mm. so, so the tier five does replace it because uh, it replaces the ability, which inherently blah 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 blah. Yeah. Oh wait, never mind. I can put put that back because I, yeah, I'll forget this. Two damage. Oh, I can't. Uh, but then, and a presence, gain energy, add yeah, just. Um... Oh, for whatever reason, I thought nature's resilience had a water on it. Reclaim. I remember just seeing volcanoes that I was seeing my other cards that I had water on them. Interesting. So that's one, that's an air, that's a, an extra energy, which is, thank goodness. And it is a power card. I, you know, maybe I sack serpents and gain a major, just so I am pushing in the major directions. I might need it, though. I might need it. It doesn't have wind. You know what, screw it. All right. Okay. Hmm. Oh, None of these are amazing for me, but I have access to unrelenting growth. I should take it. It's. It just has to be the right play. Right, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, okay, cool, 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 cool. We're in fast phase now? Yep. Going to the mountains. I am done. Um. Gather. I 
right, but this is for the mountain, so... Oh, okay, so the mountains are... Taken care of. So, how about if I... Gather this into here. And then I'm gonna downgrade this to a town. So. Wait a minute, did I just mess myself up? No, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, 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 okay. everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. It, it, it is fine. Okay. Event card. We're blighted. Add a blight. Okay. We can destroy a presence to stop it. I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that too. Blight presence. Um, ignore disease. When building. Doesn't mm -hmm. really affect anything. That the wouldn't has be a her board with disease. Yep, yep. She's not mine. And Dahan give defend two, which doesn't save me, unless the event, unless the fear card lets me move Dahan. It doesn't. <laughs> uh, next explore. explorer, we can skip uh, one of the. We skip the lowest numbered land matching the invader. Uh, nice. The explorer card. That's that actually pretty helpful. good. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Oh, I apologize. We've got the redeem. <laughs> All right. Um, we slow phasing. E um, the explorer still. Yeah, I gotta do explore. Oh yeah, that thing. Actually, I do too. Some Mountain. Like, oh. It's nothing oh. And that's blocked, and then build. In wetlands, there's two more cities coming in, which is icky. Then explore mountain. They skip the lowest number. Yep. Okay, so wait, yeah, okay, there's a town right there, so yeah, they'd have to. <gasps> wait, that doesn't sound right. They didn't revenue mm -hmm. mountain yet. They haven't ravaged in the mountain yet. I just did the ravage in my mountain? Yep. Yeah. There was a mountain for me to ravage in. Oh. Okay, okay. And then these were dead. And then this one happens. Okay, I understand now. Sorry. It's okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. Now we're now we're slow phase, yes? Yes. Okay. And one beast and one disease. Here, have a, a nerd. Thank you. And then um, and then I will add um, a disease and a bad lens to where? Two damage, okay, I'll take out that town with the two damage. And then... You know, both of these are bad, but I feel like this one, at least it's gonna help it from becoming worse. I'll blast that town with my power, and... Yeah, I guess I'm good. Hmm. I'm so extremely energy starved and I don't know that... Yeah. I don't know. 
This is a really cool spirit, and I like it. It's just hard. That's all. That's really all mm -hmm. it is. It's just hard. It's a hard mm -hmm. spirit. It's... Green set. Okay. The Pokemon... What do it be? Wah! Sorry. No worries. Okay, um... Okay. Um, Ravage's turn is in the wetlands, which... Uh, okay. I have no damage. That's my biggest problem, is that I have no damage. I can strife things forever, but honestly, the double explorer, the, the sheer existence of France... <laughs> Here, here's a free clip. Honestly, the sheer existence of France spites me. <laughs> These are too many explorers for me to deal with. Like right here and here, I just, I, 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 I. Actually, wait. Um, that's not. Rather than do that. Like, okay, here's the thing. Hear me out. I could recover. But it wouldn't help because I don't have any damage or defend cards. I, I had the one, but it, I thought unrelenting growth would be better, and I was wrong, frankly. I was just wrong about that. I can reclaim, but it won't actually help me. Not meaningfully. And that's a strange Claim. thing to say, you know? I think I gain a minor power and play it and hope that that's enough. Is that a bad idea? That's a terrible idea. But is it? Because what else am I going to do? That at least gets some presence on the board. Sorry, I am actually unironically vexed about, uh, by this board layout and how to manage it right now. I'm going to gain a minor. And hope that it helps. Mm. Wait, I don't need to do that. Would anyone want Gift of Twin Days? Or Elemental Boom? Um. Actually, wait. Oh. Elemental Boom and Gift of Twin Days. <laughs> So then I could Elemental Boon twice. I... you know what? It's a... you know what? We ball. Yes, I want these things. I would love to get Elementals. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. so that I can give Elements to both of you. So check this <laughs> out. <laughs> check it out, though. Check out that what I'm playing. <laughs> Targets begin to either. Oh my gosh, two of a single. Okay. <laughs> you can. <laughs> so, twin days that. Yes, and so we just get a bunch of elements. And then you. So, you basically. So, you're elemental booning both of us, right? Yes. Because you're twinning it. Yeah. I, I'll, what elements do you need? Um, Water, beast, or grass. I can give you two of a single element. You're giving me one of multiple. Yeah. I need one grass, one moon, and that's it. Yeah, that works for me. So my third one is whatever you need. Actually, a water. You said you need a water, right? Yes, I do need a water. also flags my nature's resilience, so I can blight clean up. Yeah, I could do, um, since you also said you needed one grass as well, right? Or... Okay, yeah, so water... One grass, one, one moon, wa one water. Yeah, that, that, that works perfectly for me, yeah. On your end. And then, what do you need, Jade? Um... I need hopes and dreams. Um... <laughs> Fair. <laughs> 
I can't deal with explorers nearly wind? as well as I can deal with big things. What was that? Sun, uh, moon, wind? I'm just guessing at the elements you need. Alright, yeah, so if I get sun, moon, wind, that's all what I could use most for that. Yeah. And then I think I s double cast Nature's Connection on myself to get four wind, so I can actually prevent a blight by going just ham in the in around here. It's not what I want to do this turn, but I think it's what I have to do this turn. Otherwise, this land blights and I can prevent it. I don't. Is that okay? Do you need more elements more? Do either of you, you benefit? Spriggs all set. Oh my goodness. Um, would you yeah, benefit the most, from um, two of a single element? I think the most I would need help with right now is um, I just have this one bit of water area that I can't I can't deal with right now. Hmm. Would element help that or nah? Not really. I just mostly need help. <laughs> okay. Fair. Then I'm gonna steal all of my, the nature's connection gifts for myself because that, Go for it. that prevent because that does prevent a blight. So I step here, strife. Step here, strife. Step here, strife. It's actually not enough to prevent this one. Bottom text. So I'm relying on the uh, on either event or fear for that, but at least this stops one of them. It's not good, it's not clean, but it is a play I can do. Mm -hmm. And then I have reclaim one, which doesn't change anything. Okay, sorry. It's just a rough turn for me. Oh, that was... yeah, sure. So that's event card, yes? Yeah. So we're still we're stage two. Invaders do plus one. Oh my god. Uh that okay, that water area is gonna blight. <laughs> um, so is the wetlands four. that I just spent everything to deal protect. No, never mind. Uh, no. no, never mind. Add one disease to jungle wetland with the most towns or cities. On each board, remove one blight from land with at least two to Han. Oh, well. That's not on my board. Oh! Yo! New, uh, one of the new fear cards. On each choose board, a land. Choose a land with something. Downgrade one town or city. I only skip the next build action. Uh, no, we're phase one. Oh, we are phase two. Wait, oh. heck, we're phase two. Okay. Yeah, choose a land with, um... So, mountains, ideally. Because we'll get that build. Cancel. Yeah. I don't have anything I can really downgrade besides in the... the here, so I guess I'll have to do choose that. Unless... No, that's Stripe, so that's fine. Yeah, I think I just downgrade... Actually... Yeah, no, I just downgrade this one. I just toss the city out, I guess. Alright. Ravage wetlands, a single explorer blights, I guess. Um, on the plus side, though, I can have it blast my Incarna, and I just bring it back when I, um... When I re when I use my reclaim action next turn, so it's actually not as bad, but it's still real bad because I sp I focus my entire turn on preventing that. Mm -hmm. I mean hubris, yeah, admittedly I know, but like. <laughs> Alright, uh, build in the mountains. Alright. Um, okay, and then explore the explore jungle. Explore the jungle. 
Okay. And then pick a jungle, and if it has a town or a city, add a blight, otherwise add a town. Okay, I choose this one and I add a blight. <laughs> okay. Alright. Just been blocking blades on one spot with vitality over and over and over. I. Th mm, gosh, I think it's just the, the luck of the draw. I think I've just been really boned by France, mm -hmm. frankly. Mm. I'm not saying that the game's lost. I'm just saying, oh my gosh, I personally am in a terrible position because the I'm things. I'm yeah. not in a great position. Yeah, the things that my incarna does are just things that I cannot do. So, how come you're going so tall? Because <laughs> I have a card that rewards me for having a lot of presence in one spot, and I don't really have a lot of reason to spread out other than, like, losing presence elsewhere. Yeah. Uh, right, fair enough. Water and... Which card is it? In between the fates of all. Mm hmm. Okay. Well. They just like. I only have one place that I put presence other than my starting spot that hasn't lost presence yet. Mm hmm. -hmm. All my other presence I've placed out have died. So slow phase. Mm -hmm. I will place one of my broken presents back out. Nice. And also gain a major power. Hmm. These are hard decisions. <laughs> Yeah. Uh oh. You can't power the night, huh? Oh, you can. You could go with uh, the nightmares, just purely as a, as a six fear generation. Or I can go smothering infestation, which is two fear disease, three damage, and one to each invader. Yeah. Yeah. And I get that kicker consistently, so I think that might be the one I go for. Fair enough. If you can put any presents out here, that would be real handy. <laughs> now where? Um, these places are a mess. I don't know what to do with them. Mm -hmm. I. My spirit has, has doesn't have the damage output. Yeah, I don't really have damage output either, unless it's right next to my Incarna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I only have damage output on slow pieces. <laughs> um, I think maybe I'm kind you of need like to... keeper of the forbidden wilds, but with less mobility. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to go for a major, but I also don't know if I have the energy for that right now. I'm gonna try. Well, I oh. think in retrospect, you might have needed. To, uh, it might have been good to go with uh, blood. Yeah, I think I might have gone just, that way. I wasn't really the... sure. For the damage output, because we don't, we both lack damage output. Yeah. I didn't really think about it. I thought something I had to look for next output. time. Yeah. I thought I had more damage output than I do. That's really what it boils down to. Mm -hmm. And then the way they stacked into the wetlands, just I couldn't handle it. Too many things. I can I deal with a widespread out list. I can't really. Gather a city and gather a town. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And gather an explorer. And I guess I will, <laughs> although that one is super dead. <laughs> Just heard a notification sound and I was like, whoa, what the heck was that? And it's, you played Tabletop Simulator for 50 hours. Congrats. <laughs> um, and then I will remove an invader, and remove a town or explorer, and remove a town or explorer. That's a cool spirit. 
The weird thing is we're still in this somehow. I don't get it, but like... We haven't fully been out. <laughs> we're rough, but somehow holding on. Alright, I have to reclaim for several reasons. Place the incarnate on the board. I think I'm going to try to fish. Um... Our plant. If I place the incarnate here, I can immediately strife this, actually. That saves that blight. Mm, I need to... Once this turn, target power may repeat- oh my gosh! Um... Mm -hmm. This right here, another repeat. You have Power Storm, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Power Storm or Volcanic Eruption is also very good. It's 20 damage, but also destroys everything. <laughs> That's my Blight. I mean, Power Storm seems like the play, honestly. Yeah. Um, and then let's see what I should... I am so Kevin. far behind on growth options. That I'm going to unrelenting growth myself. And turmoil. Could I get a boon? Or no? That's like no. Oh, you want. Uh, oh, yeah, no. Those, those have not been reclaimed yet. Are you just no worries, mate. Gosh, and I don't have the sun. Oh no, oh no. <sighs> Could I claim the power storm? Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, I feel I feel like I'm getting super needy on that. I will give you a billion elements, though. I'm down. And then... Yeah, power store me, and I will give you... Well, I mean, I'll, gi I'll give you whoever needs it, of course, but... I'll I will, give... Yeah, I'll end up just needing a bunch of water, I think. I, I can give you four water. Yeah, that's basically what I need. That'll also give me the, the elements I need to... Unrelenting growth, which will also remove a blight, which, thank goodness, it does mean I can't stop this, which is, which is a catastrophe. To clarify, oh well, no, it's not. I can cascade it into the vitality again. Yeah. Then it ain't great, but <laughs> we 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 somehow living. Wait, it's mountains. Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay, I can start replacing at least invaders with... What was that? I can at least start the turn. Oh, whoops. I can replace... Um, if two Dahan are present, I can replace invaders with Dahan. That's gonna be helpful here, I guess, for now, so I can just... We are somehow still in this. Mm-hmm. I have... No actual idea how, but... <laughs> That's my official statement. Okay, I understand this a couple things about this spirit a lot better now. Turmoil's touch is the only way I gain powers. I, This is my power gaining ability, and I need to use it more often. Oh, this actually goes here because it replaces the other one. Oh, okay. Sorry, just... I thought it replaces it... both, so I wasn't sure. Yeah, it replaces both, but it, but it, because this one's actually gone-gone. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you could do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that works. Okay. Fast phase. Jade, do you want three energy? That'd be cool. 
All right, fast phase. Um, Thank you. Use your power. Gain three energy and um, repeat your power card by paying its cost. Right. Gain your four elements. Everything yep. else. Uh, and this place is handled now. I can't. I, I cannot with this. Um, or, Can no, I I'm sorry, gather mountains, mountains? I cannot with these this. These two with. here. I'm gonna change this into a Dahan. And then defend with three or downgrade one invader. Actually, I'll just oh, do a wait. defend three so they can kill the town there. Okay. <laughs> and then add oh, one beast. There we go. Okay. I think that... Oh, I forgot to push my button again. <laughs> no worries. Event! Uh, phase two. For the rest of the turn, ignore one strife on each invader. Okay. And then destroy two Actually, inv invaders among land with beasts. Explorer. Oh, hello! These are yeah, two ex two explorers. These, yeah, these will be the. Actually, That's whoops! Actually, a really big deal. Oh my goodness! Yeah, sorry, I, just did it. I just did it for you. No, no, it's okay. Um, here, let me put this back because I realized that that should have been a better one to grab. No, no, it's both. Oh, it's both. Among oh wait, no, but yeah, it's each board remove two. From lands with beasts. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I think has, I think here's the play because then yes. this is not going to blight next turn. When invaders ravage land, has Dahan defend two. Okay. Oh, so this is now a defend five. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Doesn't help that... us, but whatever. Yeah. All right, um, Ravage Mountains, double ca Blight Cascades here. I'm so sorry. Build in the jungle. Most jungles have disease, to be honest. Yeah, so we just... Oh, boop. That's yours to pick out. So yeah, because, that's okay. Because I was doing so much stuff up here, I'm sort of, like, thinking of this as being a part of my board. I've done that multiple no times. No sorry. Please forgive me. Explore the savannah. Okay. It's fine. Actually, that's not so bad because savannah's been untouched. It's... Yeah. Semi-okay. I am in panic mode, though. Save me. Slow phase. Okay, so my slow phase, I... Mountains are jangle. Um... Okay, so two fear. I just make this town go away. I'll target that jangle there, and I'll push one of these no, I don't. into a mountain for now. I don't make the town go away. I don't have that ability right now. And okay, then I flip. The clutch stone. I get to unrelenting growth successfully. This is where we turn it all around, and everything's going to be okay. Also, with smothering infestation, I can pop some locations a little bit. So, I have unrelenting growth, and I gain a power card, which frankly... I'm getting rid of unrelenting growth. It served its purpose, and now I'm back in the game. I have unrelenting growth, and I no longer need it. Gather yeah. town, gather explorer, remove, remove. Hmm? Who I wants to, uh... It. Who wants a minor power? I think I might be okay now. Either no longer power. hemorrhaging. I'll take one, one if you... Yeah, one energy gives you a minor power. Wait, I have to spend one energy for it? Or, um, discard a card from your hand to your discard pile. Oh, okay, I'll do the discard, because I have no energy right now. 
Okay. Um, you know what? None of these really help me. Mm hmm. So I'm going to take it and immediately sack it for the major power off of uh, Unrelenting Growth. And again. Yo, new power alert. <gasps> Solidify echoes of majesty past. In a land and adjacent lands, <clears throat> defend three, added a broken. Uh, presence to each adjacent land, skip an invader uh, action, reclaim a power card or unique power that they forgot. They may play Ooh. it by paying its cost immediately. It does a really neat power. It's cool. I don't know if it's right for me right now, but it might be actually. I don't have enough earth to power the Paralyzing Fright, otherwise I would. I think I- no, I take Death Blossoms, don't I? Yeah, I think I take Death Blossoms here. But that's a really cool card, I like it. <laughs> but Death Blossoms is the play that's going to actually help us win the game. <laughs> And yeah, that's me. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. All right, we good? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna. We're getting. We're running low on blight on the board, but we are burning Hopefully. through the uh, fear cards at an acceptable rate. Mm -hmm. But we are hitting tier three of invasion, which I am not ready for even remotely. Yeah. yeah. Gain and then one. Actually, mm -hmm. other than that, um, I won't restore that just yet. What I think I'll do is um, I'm going to try to fish again. You and Tarzan we may use each other's to target powers. Target speeds may gain a power card. You gain one of the power cards they did not keep. Entwined power sounds... Mm-hmm. Like, a actually, choice the, wait a minute. Entwined yeah. power is insane, actually. Yeah. Because that would let Sprig use her ground target things anywhere on the map. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually insane. Yeah, because that's been my limit, like, all game. It's just I can only hit things that are right next to me. Yeah. And then maybe I will discard this one. Then I'll do entwined powders. Wait, did I choose my growth? No, I didn't. I didn't actually growth yet. I started choosing powers before I actually put my growth out. Um, you look like a safe place to put a holy site. <laughs> yeah, so I see what the gimmick that they're going for with the tree grandma is. Mm -hmm. But like, it feels very, very... It feels kind of vague. Limiting. Because what I'm, what I'm supposed to do is my growth phase once each round, I'm supposed to place my presence, move my incarna to another spot where my presence is, which destroys my presence, and then use my other growth option the next turn to add vitality to add my incarna and play one of my presents to replace the one that I just removed. And then the next turn, or that turn, play my one that lets me replay my damage, my destroyed presence. 
Mm -hmm. So it's like, my combo is a three turn loop. To yes. prevent the build ones. That's a lot. It's very, very slow compared to how quickly the enemies come out on the board. So the more practical option is to sit in one place and draw everything into you. But then, like, you can't draw things in fast enough by yourself. Yeah. So you kind of require... Like, it would combo really, really well with, um... Uh, Lure of Deep Wilderness? Hmm. Because you just gather everything in, and then it's like, hey, I just, I sit right here, I defend for a million, they're not allowed to build. Deep Wilderness got an, uh, Incarna, uh, aspect, actually, this expansion. Mm hmm Seems like it's just kind of like what you're going for with that spirit, but maybe even slightly better? Yeah, I think that's probably what it is, it's just, like, the new Lure of Deep Wilderness is just towering words of the jungle, but... Functional. <laughs> <laughs> I like the gimmick, I like the idea, I don't like the execution. It doesn't feel right. Mm -hmm. Oh, what do I do? Okay. Hey, um, um. Right? Alright, I needed to do this, sorry, during my growth options. Oh yeah, um... Rick, do you want... Basically, I'm going to target you for Entwined Powers so that you can also target my lands and you also gain a power Yay! card. Neither did I. Um, and we're on different intake services, actually, like both on the YouTube. Hey. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I would blame the, the provider, but like, I mean, and we're, you know, literally on the far sides of the continent. Did mm -hmm. that instead. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Swap something really quick. So, also, that would... The other one power. Okay, so in time. Yeah, should we gain three energy each? Well... The other one power from hand. What does that mean? Hmm? You may gift the one, um, the other one power from hand. Yeah, any card in your hand, you can hand over. Oh, okay. Oh. You can you can trade you can trade powers. Oh, okay. I don't know if any of these are useful for you. And vice versa, because it's kind of. <laughs> yeah. You have a town. It's it's good for power fixing if like we have cards that aren't useful for us, but we don't mm -hmm. really have that problem right now. Um, but I'll use um, Radiant and Hallowed Grove, and I will pop these two towns. Cool. Wait, hold on. Huh? Can you pop one of these so that it doesn't blight? Because that was strifed. Okay, get up to two to hunt. Enough. Yay. Yep. Yay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm just gonna probably gather, oh, yeah, gather that into there. And then... Defend three and add a beast to there. I forgot about this. <laughs> and then beast. I'm no idea how we're still hanging on this round, but we do be. I think. I don't know. I'm not gonna say. It. I'm not gonna jinx it, but we do still be in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we got a fun one. Oh. A group of Dahan finds a stony ridge with lingering blessings. Uh, Dahan can either get stacked this turn, whatever. 
<laughs> Defend from spirits is four lower per land this turn. Ouch. And then we can get to plus defend four later on. That's... I don't think... No, I think we yeah. only have one defend this turn. I don't uh -huh. have two. But like, this one's not necessary, it's just active anyway. Okay, so I guess we just uh, take the Dahan strengths. Yeah. Okay. For each land with beast and um, city, one fear and destroy one beast there. It's a town. So, no. Nope. Yeah, there's no beast and city overlap. Mm hmm. On each board with four or more town or city and four or fewer Dahan, add one blight to a land without Dahan. So, not a concern. Yeah. Mm hmm. And then fear card. One fear One... per... Oh, wow. Oh, with both invaders and Dahan. Land with Dahan have defense three. And invaders okay. do minus six damage to Dahan per land during Ravage. So, so Dahan have uh, 18 health right now. Yeah. Yep. So that's cool. <laughs> And there's basically one fear per board, essentially. Which gives us another fear card, which we could use immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And... Um, defense, defense. and coastal lands. Hey, Any barriers do not build. build. Cities and coastal lands. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a concern, but it's still appreciated. Mm -hmm. We're almost in Terra 3. All right. Ravage in the jungle. This place survives by a miracle. This place actually thrives I mean, by a miracle. That's it's true. defend six, so it's not much of a miracle. I, everything's a miracle for me right now. I'm terrified of everything. <laughs> I'm just Bees. scared in general. Explorers all explode. <laughs> okay, and then... They, they tried very badly to fight the Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> Build oh. in Sands. Build in Savannah. Dang it. Yep. I had a plan, and... but it didn't work. Explore in Jungle in Savannah. Boy. Jungle. Oh my god. Okay, well, if we clean out the jungles and savannas this next turn, then. Um. I don't know. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's, fi it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can move a blight or do two damage to something. <laughs> I guess I should do a blight. A city and then gather a town. And then gather an explorer. <laughs> Jungles or wetlands? I guess I will. Where are they? It's there in the sands next, so I guess I'll just do this jungle here. There we go. Wait, where do I... Question. Where uh -huh. should I death, death Blossom? It's four damage, three fear, which is nice. And I can add um, disease to two adjacent lands. I was going to put it in places where it would help, but then we got that... Um, Explore card, which... Push that up there. Ruined everything? I think I just blast it what? here? Maybe? Hey, Jade, here's a renewing boon. Yay! I do. Oh. Cool. And it removes the blight too! Yay! Oh, I do have a destroyed presence. Mm -hmm. Sure. So is why I chose you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I think I just, um, Death Blossom here for the four damage. Uh -huh. Also, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, no, we have a lot of cities. Okay. Yeah, I think I just have Beth Blossom there, and then Disease here, which could come in handy, and then Disease 
here, which also could come in handy. Yeah, I think that's the play. Oof. Okay. Yep, that's me. Who played for the button again? Well, I hit apotheosis for what it's worth. I don't know. I don't actually know how much it's worth, though. <laughs> In excitingly, that does give me a, a guaranteed an extra incarna push every single turn, which actually is relevant. Mm -hmm. And I play out my hand. I am. A lot stronger than I was. Okay. Okay, um... Maybe I'll do an isolate land. And... I've been forgetting that my Incarna nat uh, naturally isolates the land. I I pushed for that on turn two, and I have, I've been forgetting it constantly ever since. <laughs> Hasn't been that useful since I'm mostly existing in places that, uh... Oh well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where I'm trying to spread as much um, strife, and frankly, strife is not terribly useful. In uh, I mean, uh, isolation is not terribly useful in places where stri where that needs strife. You know, because yeah. if it needs strife, then it's not. Then it has people. If it has people, then isolate is less important. Yeah, exactly. But it does mean it's useful no matter where I am. Where no matter where I am, my mm -hmm. turn, I am either strifing or isolating. So it is good. It's just. Not as good. But also, again, find a path of paths unseen, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, hello. Yeah. You... After the next this. invader phase, on any turn with no Ravage or build actions, target land. Three fear, 12 damage, add one beast, you may push that beast, one fear, and two damage in its land. You create Jesus. a new Incarna. Yeah, you create an Incarna. Um, for the record, I have uh, nature's connection for uh, if you for elements for you, for you kickers. Oh yeah, I would end up needing them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you could even twin daze me for uh, for it if you, if you really need it. But like that gives you an incarna, right? Yeah. But yeah, that's really cool. Let's try that, it's, and then it's real cool. Which... I can't the do it this turn, but uh... next turn I can. Yeah. Um, power storm bring. I'll say we'll get rid of this. You know, one. now that I'm looking at it, apotheosis is extraordinarily strong on this because it means that I get to re reclaim every turn, which also means I get an extra move, so I get up to five moves on my incarnate. Uh -huh. Up to six moves, actually, because I have a power that pushes it as well. Which is what I need to do most. Which is I just need to spin around the the world mm -hmm. and just. Yeah, that's actually very, really, really good. I think I actually am ex wait a minute I might wait I might be good now <laughs> it sounds dumb to say just surprise you were hyper carry oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> which is funny because wounded waters is supposed to be the carry right yeah okay oh whoops I've got to pay there you go all right, fast phase for me is party time. Isolate target land, and then they do negative one damage in that. So probably the sands here, I'll isolate that. And then I'm going to probably want to push some Dahan in there as well, if I can. Yeah, I got All right, so check this out. One, two, three, four. Creates strife on... One, two, three, four. And I want to gather these Dahan in here. And that's just my innate. And plus my nat native. Um. Um. I downgrade this to a explorer. And then I'm gonna add a beast there. 
Two fear from that card, just as two fear. Uh, that's all my fast stuff, actually. That's all my fast too. Same. Okay. On each board, choose a land with Dahan and buildings. Invaders attack the Dahan there for three damage. I lucked out for mine because I just got rid of my buildings. Each beast deals two damage. Move any token that destroys a town or city. Well, oh, okay, so these beasts just take out that. Yeah, that. That. They just took out most of the explorers in my area. On each board, choose a land with at least two Dahan and at least two towns or cities. Each Dahan destroy one town or city and add a blight. Does not apply, actually. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. It could have been worse. On each board, gather up to four explorers or towns total into lands with two or more invaders. Okay, I can't... Uh... Um... Okay. So pick a land with two or more invaders and then migrate up to four things there. That's kind of yep. neat, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take everything... really cool if I could... <laughs> If I can pull things into the place where I can do stuff to them. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, wait, no, no. Dang it. Um, hey, Spig, wanna? Yes, please. Okay. I target this land, which has two in invaders in it. Um, I pull a town, a town, a town, and... It's a city. And a town. You can take all four, four of those buildings. Now you get to activate yours and take all four of your buildings. Oh, you don't have two invaders in there. Yeah, oh. I don't have two invaders. That's why I was saying you just be nice. <laughs> I thought you meant because you didn't have enough stuff around you. I got you. No, it's just. Well, now they're all set up. Can't do. Actually, wait. And then I'm, this is what I did was terrible. Then hold on. <laughs> um, hold on. So Savannah this turn, which this is handled for. Jungle is next turn. Um, this was here. Oh, thank you. Oh. So it's jungle next turn. Yeah. I think I just target here and pull these two explorers in. I think that's the play. Oh yeah, so they don't build? Yeah, so they don't build or ravage there. Just done. Deal with it. Okay. Not the turn I thought I was going to have, but... Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You could pull uh, them out of the out of here so they don't uh, build. Or heck, it's four of them. You could actually pull them out of here if you wanted. I think I pull them out of here into... You yeah, I'll pull them up to here. Yeah, pull them in the mountains. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Right, no. um. Invader phase. Ravage in Savannah, which destroys everything here, thank goodness. That does. Yep, and you vitality the other cascade. Nice. Mm -hmm. We still in this. We still hanging on. Um, build in jungle and Savannah. That's just a disease token on my board. Okay. And explore mountains and jungle. Oof. Yeah, all these explorers are what's killing me. Mm -hmm. I just don't handle explorers, but I love the spirit. I'm actually really enjoying the spirit. It's just that, like I said before, so many explorers is the antithesis of what I can handle. I can handle like th I can handle four cities. I can't handle four explorers. <laughs> Which is unique. That's that's not how most spirits are, right? It's, for for this spirit, it's 
the thing that I think feels the worst is like, I can handle explorers, but I can only pull one with my first power and I can only kill th max three with my second power. Mm hmm. And that's at zero range for both. Okay, but. So it's like, it takes a lot of elements for me to do fairly little. Hey, Spig, want a city? Hi, city! Like. Oh, I already have my pull city flagged. How are you moving it over? Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna use a twist perception. Um, do you want to move a town instead? Sure. Because I can only pull one town, but I can, and I can only pull one city. But I can pop I... two towns in a city. Okay. Yeah, that works. I can also send it. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Instead of this town, I have a, I have another idea. I'm going to send... Okay, check this out. I'm going to put a strife mm -hmm. here. When I add a strife to something, I get to move it. Hey, look, the power goes, let's move me, move it. So I can oh. send you one from, from all the way over there. Neat. Um, so then I gather a city, and I gather mm -hmm. a town. Cool, cool, cool. And... Uh, I push my Incarna and uh, give you another town by giving it strife and then pushing the town with strife on it. Thank you. And two more here. And... I don't quite have a good spot to pull one ex- like, because I have a pool explorer, but everywhere that has explorers has more than one explorer. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody uh, else want power cards? I'll pull one off of here, I guess. Um, I guess I can take that, yeah. Right. Take a, take a power. I Mine. remove a city, remove a town, remove a town. And... Hmm. Oh. Okay, that was, it was me this time. <laughs> <laughs> what else am I doing? That's that, that, that. Now I add three. Fear, because I just do that. Um, One damage for every sun. Hey, look. <clears throat> that kills a city. Um, for every sun moon pair I have, I can destroy one invader with a uh, uh, strife. Hey, look, that kills a town. It has to be in the same location though, which is weird because I, mm -hmm. yeah. And I can re-empower my incarna because this doesn't actually do anything. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh wait, it's a slow face. I do, do you see? So oh, if target yeah. has your in one damage. Okay, so I guess I'll target here and then be um. Oh wait, they're gonna ravage in jungle and savannah next. So I guess I could. Hmm. I best play here. There we go. Sand. Savannah or. Just crank out the fear, we in this. Okay, yeah, and then... I guess I'll toss this, and then just generate your fear. And then, um, actually then I also can generate one more fear, because I, um, and then push something. Um... Oh my god, push. Push up to two towns, one presence, or one beast. Our invaders, mountain, jungle. Actually, just 
push these into the water for now. And then... We'll call it on that, yeah. We good? Yeah. <laughs> so this is gonna be a thing, huh? Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, so... I'll teleport my... this once in the growth phase. Reclaim all. I'm, uh, yeah, just ramp fear. I think at this point, just ramp fear. If we can be spooky mm -hmm. enough, we win. Gain one, two, three. What I'm gonna do is I'll pull this and <gasps> reclaim one. So I'll use elemental boon. That plant or fire. Um, if you need Sun Rock Moon, I can give you the Elemental Boon, because I do need um, Moon and Rock. Uh, at this point, I only need one Sun. Okay. I can give you the two Rock. Yeah. Okay, then. Um, I just need to figure out the Moon then. Um, so if anyone needs cast? Moon, um, I, I cannot. Actually, I can only do two cards. Me. Moon is yeah, actually okay. one of my clutch uh, ones. Okay, so... So what are you gaining? Um, I just need a single moon, and then I... You, and then you're, you're giving me, through the thing, you're giving me the two rock, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then... Whatever other things you want. Alright, so it's moon and, and anything I want? Yeah, two, any two other that you want. Okay. Uh, okay. No, it's... Okay, that's actually really, really good. That maths out almost perfectly, in fact. Okay. Okay. And then, yeah. Alright, so, yep, you gain two elements. Yeah, and then um... after the next invader phase... With no Ravage build actions in target land, three fear. Make it beast. Beast can't leave island. Each slow phase you may push beast one fear and two damage. That's so cool. That is. How do so I? Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Imagine getting that on like so turn. So it can't be sands, jungles, or mountains, but it can be anywhere else. Yeah. yeah. So wetlands. <laughs> yeah, just wetlands. How do I- I'm just, I guess I'll just put a marker there for now. Just hmm? Here? I don't know. How to defend. Uh. I think it's got a grab a reminder button at the bottom of the card. Oh, oh yeah. does it? Grab a reminder, okay. Click. Oh, okay. So basically it's in, in, in a location where the land can rest. For okay. A moment to build. Okay, well, you're crafting it in a moment in a place where you are have uh, the time to craft something. You can build a 
behemoth. Yeah. I like that. It's so cool. After the next... We're fast phase now, right? Yes. Shoop, shoop. I think it's you make one beast that's like a mega beast. Actually, wait, I don't want to end my turn here. Yeah, I guess I could just put, because on this waters, I can just... I wonder if I should just stack this beast and choose it as my mega beast and be like, That's it! <laughs> So that's just going to go there and stay there. Everything else is slow. Um. Actually, no, I have to choose a land with invaders, so I'll choose that. I guess the only place that I can use this really is here. <laughs> oh, for the a lot of energy, it was merely because all of my cards were low cost and all of the powers, major powers I keep pulling are also have not been very high cost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like, you're rocking it. <laughs> yeah. You've gotten very few events that have been uh, energy taps, which is weird. Yeah. Usually there's a handful. All right, we good for invader? Yes. Invaders immediately ravage in one type not shown under any invader action. Okay. Destroy two prisons from each board to be protected. Um, I will sack my presence gladly. Because yeah. that's gonna have yeah, to be wetlands. Because that has to be wetlands, right? Yeah. Yep. And. That ends the game if we do it here. So, um, no thank you. I will not be doing that. <laughs> On each board, add one beast to a land without blight that has a town. A land without blight? Do we have those left? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, um, this one here. It, during Ravage, in every land, defend one per dehan. Per, 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 per oh, nice. That saves here. Yep. And then you have a fear card, right? Uh, yeah. Two. Two. Hello? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Okay, um, uh, hmm. I can't change my defend uh, value. Weird. Nor can I right click on anything. My computer. Huh. Okay, whatever. It's defend two here. Um. Yeah. Anyways, sorry. Oh, each player adds a strife to an invader. Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to put it down here, I guess. I guess I will add it to one of these guys. Yeah. Oh, um. Yeah, you get that at the end of the turn, yeah? Yeah. So now that that's done, yeah, I can start doing this, which does 12 damage here, which there's nothing really here to do 12 damage to unless I deployed it. Actually, if I unless I, like, deployed this in a better place. True, yeah, if you, dro if you drop that thing down in this region, it can just... Yeah, so it does 12... One range, though? Uh, well, ah, uh, darn. I don't have that reach, so... Um... Is there something maybe here? I'm trying to think. It has to be wetlands. Within oh right, your wetlands. Site. Darn. Okay, so it has to be here. Right here. 
Yeah, it's mostly just so that it would kill uh, what's here. Yes. Yeah, but fine. I guess it would. I, yeah. Although I, I could use it to get closer to you and just clear out your area. Okay. To rampage. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I guess the twelve damage, three fear. Um. One, two, three, and then I can now move it. So I'm gonna move down here. And now I, in this land, I generate one fear and two damage in its land. We have the and that. Do, that's after the invader uh, phase, though, right? Oh yeah, I guess. Um, because we have the I thought we were done with the. Oh, yeah, it's in the slow phase every round. Okay. Because yeah. we're ravaging jungle and savanna. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, that's the wrong things. Jungle and savanna. And build in mountain and. Also, I'm just I'm just gonna use one of these. Yes. Nice. I love them. There's our there's our mega beast. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that works. Just so that it's build. a little more visible than just like mm -hmm. a beast token. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised there isn't a thing in that. Yeah. Yeah, it's surprising that there's no token for it. Yeah. I forgot that we lose if we don't if we can't place a town. Oh. Huh. Oh well. I right, place a town here, so. Building okay. mountain and jungle. Get it. Yeah, this is gonna have to be did, another hard fear victory. We didn't do the ravage yet, I don't think. Oh yeah, ravage and jungle. And we Santa. did. I was I was doing it. I didn't oh. online. Oh whoops. Oh okay. We are cutting this close. Mm hmm. I don't need presents. <laughs> oh, that um, strike was me. Build. Yep, build mountain jungle. Mountain jungle. Explore Savannah Mountain! Yep. Savannah Mountain. Oh my god. Okay. But why did this. There we go. Okay. Okay, this is um Okay, 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 We just gotta survive like two turns. Is it slow phase now? It's slow phase now. Yeah, okay. I guess um all just two fear from that. Three fear from that. Two fear and from that. All my other stuff is in. Two fear from that. And now I nuke a jungle or savanna. Oh, okay. Um. Just because I, I have nowhere else to get value out of it. That's fair. I'm just gonna blast here, I suppose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <gasps> One, two, three, four is two more fear. Wait, what? Okay. That was the last city. I. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, that was that was the last fear card. All oh, right, because we moved so many. Yeah. Whoa, 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 that was close. That yep. was really, really close. <laughs> uh, GG. Mm -hmm. Hi. So I I really like Wandering Voice. I really really like the spirit. I just have to keep in mind mm -hmm. that it is not an effect. Despite the damage potential of of destroying things with a strife, it's a support spirit, mm -hmm. and I need to I need to play it as such. Mm -hmm. And but like gameplay wise, spinning the spirit around the map, um, strifing things is great as long as you're not overwhelmed by by um, explorers, which we were. 
It's the wrong spirit yeah. for the situation, but it's a really fun spirit. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so I, I liked mine a lot. It, I just, yeah, it just took a while to play, and, and I think, yeah, there was gonna be, like, I have to plan more, I guess, around what's <laughs> actually on the board and around the other spirits, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, th I think if you, I think it would have been a lot easier of a game if you had gone Beast, because you were the only damage, yeah. uh, option we had. <laughs> Whoops, but I was just like, this is, I'm just going with this, I don't know the difference between them. <laughs> Cool card, that cool spirit, though. Yeah. Sprig. Sorry, just had to explain a thing to my chat. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think I like Towering Roots of the Jungle. Hmm. I really liked the idea, but like actually in play. It felt like I was supposed to, like, it feels like you're supposed to sit still, but you have to move. But if you move, you're punished. Hmm. Is kind of how it feels. And, like, your powers are kind of good, but they're very high cost. So, like, I need to have three card plays to be able to activate my ability to do anything terribly meaningful. Yeah, which is pretty high up there for you. Which is like really, really, really late. That's if I rushed it one, two, three growth turns before I have the ability to flag my powers meaningfully. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And then that's still only playing on one energy and my cards mostly cost one energy, so can't do that, so I have to get to probably Four, first. Yeah. So I'm like more than halfway through the game before I can flag my abilities to kill explorers. <laughs> I think I definitely want to try that spirit, but when I try it, I want to make sure we have like okay. Mm -hmm. If I had um not been completely boned in the first two turns with these these uh wetlands just going completely ham on me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could have helped you out by feeding you stuff a lot faster, right? Anytime I move, I, I strife and then I also push, and I could have pushed things into your range constantly. I could have, I could have just been doing uh, laps around you and tossing things into you. And I think yeah, that... Yeah, because the, the main gimmick was, like, I was supposed to just have stacks of vitality, and then we were supposed to push everything in so the vitality could absorb it. And... But I think that would have been good if we a realized that earlier, and b if I had mm, the early game mobility, which I just didn't. Um, but like a another part of that though is like, um, Rebel Chimera Squad. It's terminal. Mm-hmm. But it it's not the character is not bad. It's just that they don't like do anything of their own. They're yeah. Whole theme is just kind of I sit here and I wait for you to play the game for me. Feed me. Yeah, but like, and this is coming from someone who plays Ocean's Hungry Grasp, who is the exact same gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> but like, Ocean's Hungry Grasp. It feels like I'm doing something because I'm pulling stuff into the ocean to make it yeah, happen yeah. and it's only mm -hmm. the ocean like you can only push stuff into the ocean because I'm there but this is just like hey I'm just I'm the same as lore of deep wilderness except I don't flag my abilities on the first turn I have to wait until like turn four before I'm useful mm -hmm. it's I'm, I'm sure that like played again under different circumstances it could be better and the concept is really cool and the vitality is a cool mechanic it just doesn't feel good okay okay i i really want to try it going into it with that knowledge i'm wondering if it feels if it'll feel better for me if we go into that but with you know a team that can uh we have a team that could support it i just didn't because i'm sorry <laughs> 
I feel like if that if that spirit gets the gets the support that it needs, that it would shine, but maybe not. I don't know. But like every other spirit in the game doesn't have that problem. I wouldn't say every other, but well, not every, but like the majority <laughs> of the spirits in the game can function and do their job by themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, and I guess like in a solo game, I could just sit like right there and then have a holy site right there mm -hmm. and then I'd be able to cover my whole board pretty much so like if you're playing solo it could work I guess maybe it just mm -hmm. like I said it didn't feel good it wasn't necessarily that it was like inherently bad or useless it was just that I didn't feel like I got to do anything because to do like to do the main thing that I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to rush to get my uh, empowered incarna mm -hmm. and then jump my incarna around. But my only way to move my incarna is with the growth phase, which also destroys my presence. Yeah. I... yeah, I see where you're coming from, I really do. I do think there's a, there are plenty of other spirits that need that kind of support, like Servant Slumbering, pa uh, Finder Paths Unseen, Bringer of Dreams and Nightmare also all come to mind. But that said, I think that I do agree with what you're saying, and I think that, it was, it, that you are having an uphill battle if you don't get enough support, because... Yeah. 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 Um... I think what it needed instead of, like, this style of abilities mm -hmm. is it needed a, um... Instead of, like, add vitality at your Incarna up here, it should have been down here, add a, add a vitality at Incarna, add a vitality at Holy Sight. Mm -hmm. So it's like you can add vitality at Incarna or add a vitality at Holy Sight as a power, and then just Gather Invader and Gather Dahan as a growth ability. I can see that. And possibly have a, um, on the line down here, have a recover one, or like reclaim one with your three, like, three card play. Mm-hmm. So that you would be able to play your, um, uh, where is it? This one, Boon of Resilient Power, without needing to reclaim to play it. Mm hmm. Oh, I will also say, imagine getting Beast of Wrathful Stone. Sorry, I was. I wanted to. Mm -hmm. Imagine getting that turn one with Shifting Memory of Ages. Yep. <laughs> you, but, but, like, what if though, right? Mm hmm. Okay, um... Thank you for playing. Yeah, thank you for having us. I'd like to keep on doing this. Me too. Yay. You there, Cuppy Cake? I think Cuppy Cake exploded. Yep, my... <laughs> my, my, my laptop keeps disconnecting from the Wi-Fi. Oh. Alright, um, I think we call here. Spig, did you still have time to do the thing? Uh, we're already like 10 minutes from my stop time. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, we did do a second game and run mm -hmm. like longer. I'll yeah. do like a little play to, to wrap up. Okay. Um. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna close out my stream here. And yeah, this was a blast. This is a good game. All the spirits are Agreed. interesting, and I look forward to finding yes. more of them. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Cheers, Cheers Good friends. Night. <laughs>